but yeah, I think everyone's here tonight. Kyrene decided to back out of the game, unfortunately. So we'll have to, uh, or I'll have I mean, to I, look for someone. I know that he, uh, uh, John, I think, yeah, I know he talked about, you know, where he might be going with the character and whatnot. But, uh, you know, it's all good. You know, got some, some things, you know, just aren't for everybody, I guess. It's no problem. Yep. He's a good guy, so. Oh, yeah. All right. I think everyone is here. All right, I'll be right back. Let's see. Oh, I was going to say, uh, <clears throat> Elric is the previous scribe, and Elric, it is your turn. Although he just stepped away, I think. It's okay, I'll just hang out a moment. I'm still waiting, I think, on one more person in the roll 20. But how are all you doing? I'm good. Ready to work on some well, side quest stuff? Yeah, I've I think we got a bunch of um, interesting leads. Um, back to the undead dragon or the train with the home there. Mm -hmm. The lava. We are close to the undead dragon. Yeah, we probably should try to do that one first. And I was thinking, you were able to open the door halfway, and I think that was because I blew up all the skeletons in there. Uh, uh yes. Yeah. Was it the skeletons, or did we activate all the things? Oh yeah, no, I think it was the skeletons. Activating all the things I think opened up something for us. Um, yeah, they were we, compartments, I remember. But yeah, something fell out. We got um, magic stuff. But the southern the lab to the south, I blew up all the skeletons and it opened up the, it cracked open the door. Um, but the lab to the north, we, we didn't blow up the skeletons, we actually have them in the bag of holding. Does so, that mean we're going to have to blow them up? I mean, I would be sad to do that, but Me I too. think that's how one way of opening it up, at least. Or at least the there, obvious way. Yeah. There's got to be something else. Yeah. Well, you can, always, you can always look into it. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, okay, sorry, guys. Uh, so, Elric... You would uh, have your turn come up again this week if you want to scribe again. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I forgot. You... Uh, oh, was I up last week? I forgot. Uh, you scribed in place of uh, Oscar, I think, because oh, Oscar no. was out. Uh, so your turn was going to be again this week. I don't know if you want to maybe trade with Oscar for it. We could do that. Or but but it's your call. On. You have first call on it. Uh, yeah, that's that's fine. If Oscar, if you want it, uh, I forgot to write it down the, this week. I'm sorry. Oh, did you not uh, post I it? I completely forgot. Uh, with um, I had some stuff going on in uh, real life, and I I completely glossed over it. Do you still have it recorded somewhere? I don't. Uh, straight up, straight up forgot. Uh, all right. Well, how about I do both? How about I just do both? Uh, I'll I'll uh back backlog this in the uh, Discord, and uh, I'll go ahead and do next week's as well. Uh, all right. I mean, not too much happened last week. Uh, I can give a quick recap from my notes. Yeah, I'm um, sorry about that. That's fine. Uh, so pretty much last week. The group was working on the uh, the vault, trying to make their way inside, when they came upon a strange 
dwarf who seemed to have tracked them through the halls. Mr. Tiny Forgeborn. Uh, oh, are we missing someone from Roll20 still? Oh yeah, we're missing me. I just realized that when you said it. I'll get right on. <laughs> no worries. Uh, but yes, you met with this dwarf who I think Elric recognized was a famous smith of the West. Uh, he had done a lot of private pieces for several of the noble families, uh, and he apparently wanted to meet up with the siege breakers because uh, he was a, a resident of Char, and he was uh, trying to kind of thank them, but also figure out kind of who burned down his house because his shop got burned down, uh, as well as maybe look into keeping Char safe going forward. So the group agreed to let him join. Uh, they then were able to break into the vault where a bunch of constructs rushed them, seemingly looking for uh, rune masters, which the group tried to pretend to be rune masters. However, it seemed they needed some kind of proof or trinket. Uh, so the group had to fight them. Uh, they were able to defeat them and claim the treasure, which was quite a bit. Uh, you all wrote down the treasure, but um, there were several items, including some scrolls. Uh, there were there was a bag of holding. Uh, I think the ring. Um, or wait, did we identify the items, or were we going to do that? Yes, we did. Okay. So yeah, there was an intelligent ring that seemed to bond with uh, was it tiny? Yep. Okay, so yeah, a ring that bonded with Tiny, because, uh, yeah, apparently it wanted to bond with a rune master, but since there was only a dwarf, it was going to settle <laughs> for that. Uh, there was the splint armor, the tapestries, the bracers, and a bunch of coins. Uh, so the group was gathering up the treasure, and that's pretty much where we left off. Uh, so... <clears throat> Let's see, session 37. Uh, is there any business we need to take care of before we start? I don't think so. Uh, so it is... Let me look at my calendar here. Uh, it is the 20th of autumn at 12.30 p.m. Uh, the group is inside the vault... We now have an Oscar with us as well, so I'll pop you in here. Although I think we're just heading out soon, but might as well have you here. Uh, yeah, what does the group want to do? Uh, I'm taking time enough to change my armor, if this armor will fit me. <clears throat> Is that the splint mail? Uh, yeah, sure. So you put the splint armor on, uh, which is magical, so it will fit you. Uh, I think it's ten minutes, or is splint heavy? I forget. Uh, yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, so uh, it takes ten minutes to put it on. Um, oh, uh, one thing... Also, uh, rules-wise, I had decided to go with uh, the variant encumbrance rules, but it's times 10 instead of times 5 for when you become light encumbered, uh, and over times 15 is, heavy, in, is uh, yeah, heavy encumbered, if that makes sense. So times 10 to times 15 is light encumbered, times 15 or over is heavy, and up to times 10 your strength is no encumbrance. Um, would this will will this be jotted down in the house rules channel? Uh, yes, I believe so. It, it's basically just the um, alternate encumbrance rules, but a little bit less restrictive because usually it's times five your strength that you can carry. Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll probably add that in later. Oh my gosh, Baird can actually carry things now. Oh, were you uh were you using the times five rule before? Yeah, I think it's like, I, I'm pretty sure. Unless, uh, is the roll 20 thing set up to be this? Uh, you can, yeah, you can set the sheet to be, um, to use that system. 
But if it says light encumbered, it would basically mean you're unencumbered, I believe, because it light encumbers you between uh, between times five and times ten. Oh, okay, cool. So anyway, yeah. Uh, what do you want to do? Right. Well, uh, are we going to take all this loot back up, guys, and sort it out, or do we want to do some more dungeon delving down here? It is still pretty early, right? Yeah, what yeah. time is it? Uh, it was 12.30, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh... Yeah, twelve thirty afternoon. Didn't take us too long to do this at all. No, oh, well, um, check out the dragon door and see if we can figure out how to open all the way. Yeah, Let's uh, see that. Uh, have we gotten any uh, long rest since I last played? Because it says I'm at two levels of exhaustion still. So. Yeah, you and, have two days of rest. Yeah. So. Yeah, there. Uh, when did you last play? Probably four weeks ago. I believe so. Then I think you're you should be good. Cool. Uh, and then I'm at like half health as well. Uh, we healed. No exhaustion, I would assume. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can. Uh, you could probably say because you were or in the fight. This from fights half health and the few spell slots. I forgot how many is what your rule is. Oh, I'm not um, half spell slots. Give me a D100 roll. I don't really have a solid rule for AFK, but... Like, how much resources are taken. Cool. Um, yeah, I mean, we can say you're at, like... Maybe 50 or 60% health from the battle. Cool. Cool, sounds good. And I will keep the rest. But yeah. I'm good, sorry. I appreciate everything, and Letting me be away for a little while. All right, it's so. great to have you back. Yeah. Uh, oh, and I guess since you uh, weren't here for Tiny's introduction, what would you look like to him? Um, I am a uh, dwarf. Red hair, red, big red beard that's kind of all dreadlocky. Um, yes. What? I didn't say oh. anything. Sorry. Cool. I thought somebody said was was talking. Um, but yeah, wearing tattered clothes. Looks oh, like I've ahead. been wandering for a while. Nah, I remember oh. I cleaned you. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So so I was shiny now. Thinnest I've been in years. Uh, I carry a shiny moonsicle in one hand and then a wooden shield in the other. All right, and uh, tiny. Um... What would you look like to him? Uh, I look like his cousin. Um, <laughs> I also have red hair, long red beard. Uh, I have a scar. I'm now wearing split mail, which he shines up immediately. Uh, but he had like well cared for uh, chain mail on before. Uh, a shield and a immaculate, beautiful car ruins and stuff in it, a hammer. With a symbol of Morgan on it. All right. Uh, so you have your splint mail on. The group has all of their spoils. Uh, where were you headed? To the undead dragon. So the uh, the labs. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you're leaving this area. I like that plan. Oh, um. Perhaps if we want to take a look at the uh, <clears throat> the Helm Horror, and and I know uh, Tiny had an interest in that armor. Uh, so, I mean, there are pieces. The ones I, the ones I everything, I would say I smashed them all over the place with the, when I was the eight. I would definitely pick up yeah. pieces of that armor up and throw in my scrap bag. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could. You could say you picked up a set of wrecked plate mail. Uh, I will weigh as much as plate mail, though. So it's going to be pretty heavy. But if you want, you could say you picked it up. It could possibly be repaired. 
but it would take yeah, time and an investment. Repaired. Yeah. Yep. So you head back out into the main dungeon area. Uh, which Tiny has not seen. So I'll let you all come in here. Plus you have to figure out what you're going to do about the uh, the cracked floor again. Because we don't have a permanent way of getting across that yet. Just going to jump at it and hope for the best. There you go. Just jump over it. Baird is going to prance up across it. Acrobat across it. Hmm. Uh, I'll uh, give guidance to everybody right before they jump or acrobat or climb or whatever they're doing. Are we gonna use the disc, Locoon? Okay. I guess I'll. You guys want me to create a disc and I can teleport over. Oh. Forward, so it works drag you guys across. I'm not sure if I can hold, the disc can hold all you guys now, though. Um, I can get across on my own. Uh, okay. So, if it can hold everybody besides me, I think we'll be okay. And Barrett. At five, uh, Barrett, you're, you're acrobatting across or hopping on a yeah, disc? I'll, I'll acrobat across. I'm pretty okay at that. Uh, all right, so if you're going to acrobatics across, go ahead and give me an acrobatics roll. With guidance. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, why uh, did Tiny just go across? Tiny has a greater Misty Step than I do. Oh. <laughs> that was a impressive oh. Misty Step. Uh, <laughs> hang on a sec, no worries. Uh, 20, uh, D4. Oh, um, bum, bum, bum. So the ground ahead of you looks yeah. cracked and broken. That's why everyone's kind of stopped before it. Uh, 23, yes. Yeah. So with some quick movements and carefully choosing your steps, Barrett uh, moves across the cracked area without falling through the floor. Um, can I use dexterity to try to get across? Uh, that would be an acrobatics check, yes. Okay. It would be the um, same as Barrod. I try to I try to stay Dude. along along the uh, the ledge here that looks least cracked. Okay. All right, and you said an Take acrobatic. Some guidance roll? too. Oh, and guidance. Okay. All right, so acrobatic. Uh, Do we want to tie? Uh, well, like, too late. And then a D four. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Uh, 21 is enough, so you as well quickly move across, getting to the other side, as several more cracks form in the floor. Okay. Well, uh, Locoon. Has my uh, <laughs> ritual uh, finished yet? It's a 10 minute ritual to create a disc. I'm going to try to do the same thing I did. Uh, last time. Let me try to pass time and see if anything shows up. Uh, yeah, 10 minutes would pass. It is now 12.40, or 12.50 actually, because you needed 10 minutes to armor up. Uh, and you would create your floating disc. Okay. Which um, can hold how much? 500 pounds. Alright, well, the question is, uh, Tiny and Oscar, do you weigh more than 500 pounds? Well, I was oh, going maybe. to... Uh, use my wild shape to transform him into a rat or something oh, like. Well, that's easy. And then walk across. I was just tapping everybody on the back with a little guidance before they did their acrobatic checks or whatever their plan was. All right, so yeah, it's I just mean, Tiny and Locoon. Gotcha. Loco uh, tiny, um, want to hop on that disc and I can take you across unless you got a good way of getting across it yourself. I don't know how you got here in the first mm. place, but it's kind of dangerous. Um, I just ran across it and got lucky. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, he probably uh, he probably would have used survival uh, to get across with uh, kind of looking at the floor for the safe spots. Okay. How much does Tiny weigh by, by any chance? 
with whatever plate mail, I got to add that to 150, so 200 and a little bit on that, and plate mail 60, 70 pounds, something like that. And all your gear, 260. 150 now, plus whatever the plate mail is. Uh, plate mail. How much does plate armor weigh? I don't know if it has the weights, but we'll see. Plate. All, all your gear too, right? So. Yeah, that's what the 150 is. I think. Uh, plate yeah, armor weighs 65 pounds. Then add it together, okay? Because I'm 180. My gear is 150, so yeah. Okay, you're good. Three, three, so, funny, funny yeah, three thing. something. So yeah, you're good. Uh, so Oscar, you become a little rat, run across. Yep. Uh, and I assume you're gonna uh, stay as a rat. Yeah, yeah. Squeak, I'll, squeak, uh, squeak, squeak, squeak. Climb right. up on Barrett's shoulders. Um, I'm gonna call out to. Barry and Oscar and Elric, I I probably can use a rope because my misty step is not going to take me all the way across. All right, um, uh, and I pull uh, a rope, pull a rope out of my uh, my bag, and I I throw it towards you. And right. if it doesn't make it all the way, I'll uh, run across as a rat and drag it the rest of the way. All right, so Locoon, uh, you now have a rope tied around you. Uh, okay. Oscar probably runs back. Yeah, there's yeah, not yeah. A, a very weak elf over here holding it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, am I'm across, gonna. Am I across? No, you gotta go on a disc. He made a disc floating game. disc in front of you. This thing right here. Okay. Then I'm gonna teleport. It's gonna get me over here. All right. There is a bunch of cracking, but the floor does not give way. Okay. I'll pull. I'll step. Yeah. And as you go, uh, Tiny is moved across on the disc, which follows you. Excellent. And then I uh, <laughs> grab my rope, and then I pull out my uh, short sword and... Uh, uh, Rod of the Pack Keeper. Uh, so, Barrett, as you get over there... Oh. I was uh, just thinking if I have a torch. Can I, I would light one, because I can't see. I don't know what light source I see, but I have no dark vision. Alright, uh, mark yourself as carrying a torch, and then I'll put the light on you. Baird, we just need to get you some new eyes so you can see in the dark. <laughs> but as yeah, you have get... a little bit of surgery. Just a, just a little bit of surgery. It's okay. I've never thought about pledging yourself to a patron. Uh, everyone <laughs> freeze for one moment. Yeah, uh, I ask your book question. I'm not sure if you've seen these before. Than yourself? I'm not <laughs> one for the gods. Oh, okay. Well, or something else but anyways it doesn't matter it's fine uh so as you get over there uh barred you would see a creature kind of skulking near the door up here i would see it that's quite amazing uh it's <laughs> kind of at the edge of your light does it look hostile <laughs> uh you have seen these before is it a baba duke Bodak, Bob, uh, Baba Duke. <laughs> it's the Baba Duke. It's the big. It's the big house on bird legs. Uh, uh, no, but the uh, the Bodak looks at you for a moment, then walks through the door over here. Wait, he walks through it. No, when he looked at me, I'd throw a brain dagger at him. Uh, well, you weren't really in the position to attack right away. He just kind of left because I was. I would say. Uh, you can be surprised, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you were probably a bit surprised by him. Uh, and then he just kind of walked away through the door. Up here? Yes. Why aren't you flashing? Uh, up this way. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Bodak! No, I wouldn't yell that. I would tell the group, Bodak. He 
he saw me, but he walked away. I don't know why. We should kill it. Oh, uh, and actually, he probably looked a little strange to you. Let me see if I have a picture. Oh, yeah, I do. Hang on. He looked really different. Hey, Oscar, I bet he has some nice ass. <laughs> squeak, squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. Oh, squeak. Here. Um, we could use this person to talk to you. Oh, oh, this one looks different. Oh. <laughs> We're well, going to go that doesn't. <clears throat> hmm. Barrett, you go talk to him. We'll stay back here. For oh, most of <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, but we, not should, not, we should not set not up the skeletons and uh, lure them back and blow them up. They might need those skeletons. Uh, we want to get to the undead dragon. But, uh, okay, well, oh, let's put the skeletons in the room, lure the Bodak in the room. Elric, Elric starts to move forward, says, I stared down the Bodak the first time. I'm not scared. Oh my god, you're gonna... Okay. Well, <laughs> Elric... I'll hurt your gaze, you madman, Elric. <laughs> I never averted my gaze the first time. Um, Bear's gonna look at his shoes. Okay. Yeah, um... And let Elric stare down the Bodak. So, before, before I move any closer, I, uh... I so, on real quick, uh, oh. Tiny, so you came from the north up here. I'll just map this out for you because you've been through this hallway before. Uh, so you came from these two doors up here. So you kind of knew what this hallway looked like, uh, right. but you do not know what is to the west over there. You haven't been to that part of the dungeon. Right, I just followed their path down through. Right through? Yes, exactly. Okay. All right, so... Uh, I have a question, uh, Lou. Can you actually have... So, say I have two uh, tier three spell slots. Can I actually have more than two if I if I use, like, my rod uh, to give me an extra? Or no? No, you can, uh, you can only hold up to two. If you are down, you can replace one of them with the rod, I believe. Uh, okay. well, what does the rod say? I, I would have to uh, read it again. Yeah, let me go to my sheet. There it is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you regain. So you can't regain if you're already at full. You have to spend one to regain. Alright. Uh, so, I look at everybody uh, as I'm moving up. Are we doing this? What's what's going on? Am I, am I going for it? I'll bite him if I have to. Um, yeah, we're going for it, but um, don't stare directly at him. Remember last time. Hey, nothing happened to me last time. Yeah, this, you're lucky. Um, so do as you will. Alright, so you head up that way, but you don't see the Bodak anymore. <clears throat> I call back. I'm not seeing the Bodak. Uh, of course, there is the uh, area here with the symbols. Um, and I don't think you have your familiar out right now, do you, Lokun? Uh, I'm just checking my 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 notes here. I think I lost them last... Yep, he's lost in the Feywild. Wait, wait. So yeah, you don't have to worry about him not being able to pass. My closet um, also obliterated last uh, last session, so... <clears throat> oh, but uh, I do have my skelly. Yeah, skelly, yeah. You can have him in the background. I think he still has like three hit points. He does. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> hey, it's whatever. He's like missing That's a bunch of ribs and his arms missing. Oh, he can pick some up out of this pile here. There you go. Just scotch tape them back to his other arm. Yep. Uh, so you enter the northern laboratory. The fireplace is giving off light as usual. Mm. 
Uh, it does not look like there's anything else in here, and the pillar is not lit up as it uh, once was. Probably because the magic is worn off. Uh, do you think the door is still halfway lit up, up guys? We should watch out for the Bodak, of course. But... We should uh, Can... probably check the other room and just, yeah, check if it was still cracked open like last time. Uh oh my gosh i forgot how many dead bodies I, and then i just like i'm sure there's a smell coming from this room right yeah the yeah. bodies of the blood hand you killed are uh probably all desiccated by now because the spiders have been eating them oh that's gross. <laughs> oh yeah jeez that's, that's good clean, I, clean I the run, corpses I run, I uh, spiders like, oh. Oscar, say hello to your friends while you're in there. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, uh... More bodies. Say, uh, hey, spiders. Hope you're enjoying the food. Uh, uh the skeletal bones in the hallway seem to mostly be gone, which is a little bit odd. Uh, are you gonna try to call to the spiders in there? I was just going to, uh, use my... speech with the woods, or whatever the druid thing is. And just say, hey, hope you're enjoying the food. Uh, go ahead and link that. Oh yeah, you're in rat form, huh? So you probably can't, uh, can't talk to them anyway. Unless you dropped rat form. Oh. Because yeah, as a rat, you could probably only just do a bunch of squeaks. Squeaks. Oh yeah, I'll drop rat, rat form. It seems like we are not in need of a rat anymore. Okay. Uh, so as you approach, uh, a big uh, threatening looking spider comes running down towards you. Uh, but it kind of recognizes you and seems to uh, stay its, uh, stay its uh, ground and does not attack. Oh, hi, friend. Uh, uh, things going good down here? It would give you the spider greeting. Uh, how smart is he? Not very smart. Uh, he kind of chitters a bit, and he says, Thanks for all the dead people. Nah, you're welcome. <laughs> Eat up. Anytime. We'll see you around. <laughs> uh, he will climb back up into the room. Going back up above. Cool. Well worth it, guys. I appreciate you letting me collect some pets. Yep. Your buddies. Well, we needed something to get rid of all the dead bodies. <laughs> all right, you re-enter the flooded room. Uh, as I oh. said, the uh, corpses all seem to be gone. Does this oh, mean I have uh, to do I have to go through? Oh. Uh, yes. Does anybody need a light? Tiny, do you need a light? I think Tiny is a dwarf, so he can probably see in the dark. Okay. Oh, I'm good to go. So cool. this this room seems to have a large water uh, pool in the middle of it. Uh, it is very dirty and does not look uh, like you'd want to swim through it. But everyone just jumps right in and swims through <laughs> it. I'm visibly upset. Uh, yep. And when you jump in, you regret swimming in it even more. Well, I didn't like it to begin with. It's water. Yeah. yeah. I just immediately start using precedentation. Uh, it has dead corpses in it. Yeah. Uh, the, the door seems to be open. Oh. Open, completely open. Yeah, and actually, uh, if you look inside... What a bummer. A bummer? Yeah. I mean, somebody's been in there. Oh, yeah, you're right. Or something came out of it. Mm. Oh, uh, on the inside, there is a large pile of dragon bones. <laughs> That's not ominous. Uh, I thought it was a real dragon. <laughs> oh, I was ready to fight that thing. 
It uh, looks look like who... either someone killed it recently or it's been dead for a long time. Damn. Those are some good bones. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, locoon. You should bring them back. Uh, does anyone, or what's the highest passive perception? Oh, uh, Tiny, please tell us you have good passive perception. I'm at 13. I'm like at 11. Uh, mine's 12. Uh, I have 9. <laughs> Alright, so with 13, uh, you can see that there's a lot of footprints in this room. Uh, so someone may have been in here recently. Uh, I'm going to point the footprints out to everybody. Uh, looks like we lost our loot. We took our time getting here. Dilly dally. Well, you wonder who could have slain something like this. It's probably Neil. <laughs> Neil just punched the dragon out. But say he's dead. Hmm. So the large chamber uh, with two dwarven statues on the other side of the room uh, is pretty cracked up. Uh, there's a bunch of what well, looks like chemical burns all over the place, possibly from whatever uh, breath weapon this dragon was employing. Uh, there's some bones on the ground that have been there probably for a long time. And uh, yeah, the treasure seems to have been taken by someone. Well, uh, it's not a total loss, guys. Uh, and I, come, I go over to the dragon. <clears throat> you know, dragon bone is it's kind of rare and expensive. We can probably scavenge at least some. Yeah, the dragon essence has been taken by someone, but there are dragon bones still there, which could be worth something to someone. What about scales? Uh, it was mostly bones. Um, do you have survival? Um, not by so a proficiency in survival, uh, or uh, if you want to search the bones, you might find something. I mean, can I can I try searching? Or, or yeah, anyone can try searching. Oh. It's just oh, yeah. a perception check. Oh, perception. Uh, yeah, perception. Okay, sixteen. Not bad. Uh, so, if you look uh, at some of these bones, there probably are a couple of dragon scales left that were still stuck to the bones. Uh, but, yeah, it looks like, um, other than scales, there's just the bones, from what you can see. Uh, about how much uh, weight did we get of dragon scales? Do you want to try to collect them? Oh, this is somebody. Uh, is that the idea there? Yeah. 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 Uh, you can yeah. use a survival check to try to successfully collect the scales without breaking or messing them up. They are pretty old. Uh, Fourteen. Is anyone helping? Uh, yeah. Can I try to help? Um, yeah, I would help them get there, but... So, anyone who wants can... I'll take one more survival check from the group to help. Okay. Uh, so Not with... <laughs> uh, <laughs> with 14, you managed to gather uh, probably about 50 gold pieces worth of dragon scales. You cool. would uh, you would estimate. Uh, and then how much of the dragon... Or are we still grabbing the dragon bones, Elric? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think we should. The scales weigh about five pounds. Uh, if you want to take how many, uh, how many dragon bones would you take? They're pretty heavy. Uh, well, we do have um, that new bag of holding that we just got. Uh, is um, out of character. Is uh, <clears throat> uh, uh yes, over there. Sorry, I can't. I can't think of. Uh, can't think of her name. 
Kyrene. Kyrene. She's in the background. She's with you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how, how does that work? As long with well, like with the loot, is it already divvied out to her? Like we can't, we can't. Uh, I think she that? got her share. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I, think I was you... gonna say we could toss bones in there, but it, it's up to y'all, I guess. Oh. Um. Yeah, just have Kyrene put it in the bag of holding for now. Um, Did Kyrene take the bag of holding? I have an honor. I mean, I don't necessarily know that she was going to keep it. All right. Uh, the thing is, I mean, Kyrene, there would, uh, if she would probably, I don't know. I was going to try to buy it off of her um, this session, but, you know, now that... Uh, well, you can try to buy it off her NPC. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, she'll... I uh, have a bag of holding as well. Oscar, yeah. Okay, how uh, much dragon scale and dragon bone is it again? So, there's 50 gold pieces worth of dragon scale, which weighs about 5 pounds. Uh, and you can take probably as much dragon bone as you want. I mean, there's a lot of dragon bone. You're not sure what you're going to use it for, but, I mean, it is pretty heavy. So, I guess weight-wise, how much dragon bone would you take? As much as we can carry and bring back to the house. Alright, so there's probably about 500 pounds of it. Oh. I'll put it on a disc. Just put it on the disc. <laughs> uh, I don't know how well it's going to fit on a 5-foot disc. I guess you could, uh, how long does your disc last? One hour. It's, oh, it, no, I, it's not going to work. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, Isn't the it. bag of holdings limit uh, 500? 500 pounds, yeah. Yeah, so let's yeah. let's just toss all this excess in, in the bag of holding, uh, the, the new one we have. And we'll, uh, we'll put the dragon bone somewhere in the house when we get back. So you cool. want to put the dragon bone in the bag of holding? The yes, new the new one. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Kyrene says, do we really need all the bones? Why don't we just take some of them? Well, I mean, we do have that caravan coming to town, and, you know, craftsmen do like dragon bone. It's a good selling point. Uh, I'm trying to make, like, a persuasion. Sure, give me a persuasion. Okay, all right, uh... Persuasion check. Oh, wait, did it not work? Let's try again. There it goes. She kind of sighs and shrugs and says, all right, if you really think they'll be, uh, they'll be useful to take. I think it could be. All right. Uh, you don't think the dragon's head bone is going to fit in the bag of holding, but you can probably get most of its, like, I guess if you, hmm, so I guess if you broke a bunch of bones apart, you could fit them in. Cause like oh, yeah. the rib cage and the head and some of the bones are kind of big. The skull. Reduce the value. Um, uh, yeah, let's just take what we can. That's it. All right, so we'll say you could feasibly probably take about two hundred pounds okay. uh, of yeah, intact that's, that's bones. Fair. So you take 200 pounds of dragon bones. You want to put that in the um, treasury looking? Um. Uh, and Tiny, um. you would guess these are more relics from the Therian Empire, the last uh, cycle Dwarven Empire. Do these statues look um, like they might have any... I, I want to uh, check them out and see if there's any... Um compartments like the last one had. Alright, so you give him a quick once over. Uh, you can give me a perception check see if you see anything. Uh, doesn't seem like there's anything in the first one. I have a history. Could I also maybe look at some of them? The statues? Uh, sure, yeah. I mean, you would probably get the same thing that Tiny got, that they are uh, from the Therian Empire, the architecture goes along with that. Oh, okay, alright. Just like the rest of this place. 
Uh, well, uh, should we hunt out these thieves who stole our treasure? <laughs> yeah, so you don't see any compartments or anything on these statues. What's this down here? Is this another room? Uh, this way? Uh, it seems like there is a hole there, or there was a hole, but it's caved in now. Another cave-in. So there, it looks like there may have been a hole in the wall at one point, but something caused it to, uh, cave-in. Uh, I'll try to call over here. Hey guys, uh, we might be able to scavenge something from over here. <clears throat> Um, can we, like, maybe inspect to see how, if, if it's even possible to get through this rubble, or no? Uh, the rocks are pretty big. Uh, it would probably require an excavation team, or at least several hours to days with a pickaxe. Or possibly some explosions? Uh, possibly. Yeah, it's, okay. It's more caved in than the other one. This one is, uh, much more sealed. So... We, um, we do have some exploding skeletons, and I do have a few fireballs I could throw its way if we want to try to unblock this and see if there's any more So remember, here. fireballs deal fire damage. It wouldn't okay. necessarily yeah. explode. <clears throat> can I look at the, um, the structure of it to see if it could even handle an explosion or would just cave in more? Uh, sure, give me an intelligence check with proficiency using your dwarven, dwarven knowledge. Intelligence with proficiency, right? So, yep. Uh, oh, man. Uh, you're not. You're not sure. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Look. Looks like it'd be fine. Yeah, Could yeah, be okay. I, I, I don't necessarily like explosions underground. Um, I think if we want to find the treasure, we have to follow these footsteps and mm -hmm. uh, figure out who took them, and then uh, maybe. Uh, Get you a few drops of blood, Elric. Oh, you, you know what? Okay, like I'm, I'm that. yeah. Let's and then I just like, immediately start going with, <laughs> uh, change my mind and start heading out. Okay. All you had to do was say blood. That's magic word. I, I assume that whoever stole our treasure, our rightfully earned treasure, um, has blood. So. Yeah. Not anymore once I get it, but, you know, it's, that's it's fine. Cave -in. Cave -in uh, looks more. Yeah, this cave-in is still here. Uh, it looks a little bit easier to get through. Uh, again, you might know something with uh, dwarven structural knowledge here. If you want to make another intelligence check. Uh, I'm going to give him guidance on this one. That's allowed. Okay. <laughs> An extra D4 for you. Alright, well. Let's do it this way. Uh, oh, Alright. 16 plus four. 3 plus 4. Plus 3. Uh, so this structure, or this cave-in, you would guess, uh, it seems like it caved in a little bit more neatly than the other one. Uh, you would estimate a good digging team, uh, and that's like a human digging team because you assume there isn't a dwarven one around, uh, could probably be through this in a couple of hours, and you don't think it will, it will require any extra structural support. They would just have to break up these rocks. Okay. Uh, where did... I'll, re I'll relay that. Uh, where did the track... I'm trying to track the footprints that were in that room, see if there's any signs of which way people went. Uh, give me a survival check. Uh, no, there's too many footprints growing through this room. You would lose the trail once it leaves the, uh, the lair. Yep, that sucks. Well... <laughs> Anybody uh, else? Whatever is uh, behind. 
Uh, well, if you have some pickaxes, you all could probably try to do this yourselves. It just might take a little while. But you would definitely need tools unless you uh, have some way of moving several large boulders without them. Explosions? We could probably. Uh, I can take an hour to make everything. I mean, yeah, explosions solve everything, literally. Yeah. Also, your skeletons explode with uh, arcane energy. They don't actually have, oh. like, you know, gunpowder explosions. Hmm. All right. Um, oh, do we have a pickaxe? I don't have one. In I can my make one. So I can take an hour and, and make several, actually. Okay. Oh. I think uh, it's yeah. still early enough in the day that I think this. Uh, whatever's behind this big old rock uh, is still left undisturbed. We can be sure of that. So Ooh. it might be worth a check. What do you I think like that the idea. All right, so you want to try to make some pickaxes tiny? Is that what she said? Yep. I'm going to use my artisan blessing. Uh, could you use link that to cre Create simple items. It's going to be less than 100, 100 GP worth. And um, I'll pull off some of uh, the broken armor and stuff to use for the metal of it. Uh, could you link that ability? Yes, I can. Oh, wow. Oh, well, by the way, Oscar, um, there's a wand of magic missiles in the bag um, that you have um, cool. if you want to use it. Ah, uh, that might that might come in uh, hand later on. Okay, so I'll remove it from the group treasury then. Are you putting in inventory? What does um? Give me one stick. Wand of magic that? missiles. Oh. Yep. So it looks like you can only create one item per hour. Mm. One. Yeah. Unfortunately. I'll make that one. And uh, I'll just have my uh, skeleton here doing the work, and uh, maybe we come back I got tomorrow. A, I got a big hammer. That's me. Mm, hammer and I a pick up. stuff up with a hammer. I, um, I could move the debris pretty easily. Ooh, how? Um, some magic. Some mold earth, right? Uh, the debris, not the rocks, but the broken up rocks. Yeah, so that would move stuff once you break it. That wouldn't actually break the stone, though. Alright, so, uh, Tiny... Creature you can turn into, Oscar, that is good at breaking things. Breaking through rocks. I don't think... I don't know of any creatures that eat rocks. Or lift up big boulders. Ooh. Yeah, I could do that. Giant ape. Or ape, maybe. Uh, Kyrene says, do we have any magic that could make the rock smaller? Ooh. I look at Lipkin. Uh, not I, unfortunately. Not you, Kyrene. Uh, what does she have? <laughs> oh, no. by the way, yeah. Found, we have Elvin Splint Mail in the group treasury too. If you want that tiny, but I'm not sure if that's better I than did Splint see Mail. That. Yeah. yeah, that's funny. It's lighter, I believe, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's a little lighter. Yeah, I'm a I'm a heavy armor guy. I actually have that feet, so uh, it's. It, it's it's still heavy armor, armor. it just doesn't weigh as much, but it doesn't have the plus one, so it's not as defensive. Oh, then I'll use what you got. Okay. Would that be something I could wear? Uh, if you have heavy armor proficiency, but I think you're a druid, aren't you? Don't you have to wear, yes. like, natural armors? Non-metal armor, so I wasn't sure. Yeah, splint is metal. Uh, right. So Kyrene says, I don't have any magic. Um, some kind of uh, shrink or uh, something like that could work, but no. 
I have nothing prepared that could help. Same. Uh, I've read of such magics, but uh, I'll have, have that. Yeah. She says, well, pickaxes no. are cheap. If we want to take a walk up to the town, we could just buy them. Yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, Tiny, if you wouldn't mind saving that helmed horror armor, I'd, I'd like to possibly uh, help invest some money to get it repaired. Well, I mean, I can repair it. Oh, if, I mean, if you can repair it, uh, yeah, just let me know what uh, material is needed and I'll... Uh, possibly front some money to help uh what does the armor look like by the way uh it's the plate end. armor is so it like does it, it have like any pr uh, principle how does it look like what's this, uh, so it looks like uh it may have been crafted again during the therian empire uh oh. you would guess it's very old probably was enchanted as part of the guardians of this place uh, not much other than that, though. Dwarven make, I assume? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Maybe one of the rune masters made it. Uh, so, yeah, what's the plan? It's currently Pickaxes? about 12.55. Do we want to so go just... grab some from the market? Yeah, I mean, but I need just uh, make one and then we can leave my skeleton here and we can work on it while we... So it will take Tiny an hour to create it. So while... I mean, I can stay here with the skeleton, well, but then... That doesn't make sense. I don't know. Well, there is, a, there is that Bodak roaming the halls. It's I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, uh, Kyrene yeah. says... I want to leave Tiny here. She says, maybe, uh, maybe we get the pickaxes and you can make an extra one after. Yeah, let's do that. Or maybe we come down tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. All right. So, um, we don't want to spend an hour here. We can move forward. I mean, there's a chance that the Bodak comes and we kill him. That'd be fun. Uh, maybe uh, I don't maybe if we talk to the Bodak, uh, he'd be able to give us some insight into what happened and who took our treasure. Talk to undead. Are you mad? Kyrene I mean, says the undead are abominations. Yeah, they're normally not that nice. Alright, so you go swimming in the water again. Uh, you don't have to walk back out. Um, okay, I can just uh, delete your tokens and say you. Uh, which exit are you going for? Can we go towards the left exit here just so we can kind of snoop to see if the Bodak went this way? Towards right here? Or who, whoever took our treasure. Yeah, exactly. See if we maybe pick up some footprints or something. All right, so you go back into the barrows. You said you're leaving out the left side of the yeah. tunnels. All right, so the group. Oops. What is going on? All right, so the group heads back into the Barrows, leaving uh, the halls of Tarsus behind. Uh, where do you want to head from here? Um, is there any like footprints, or can we try to look for any? Uh, there's a lot of signs of passage between the uh, between the Blood Hand and all the other people who've come through here. There's it, it's almost impossible to pick up the trail from here. There's way too many footprints. And uh, signs of passage. Maybe, um, maybe we just go ahead and head back, guys, and we'll ask Eli uh, Elira if she can uh, snoop around to see if anybody talked about hitting a big score recently. What about we do that? Doesn't sound like a terrible plan. Can we just? I mean, we, do we have to go back through the halls, or can we just? Pop up the well or something. Yeah, we can go through the well real quick. I would assume that's what we were going to do. Alright, so you travel through the barrows. Uh, do you have maps or are you trailblazing again? We have maps. Okay, so you follow I your realize, maps. I realize I was muted. Um, 
But before we go back up, did you guys want to check in the cave in and the the lava place? Yes. Uh, yeah, the lava here. place is up north. Up uh, here. Uh with the heat. The cave in is here. Uh it's you assume it's still there. But we also would need pickaxes for that cave in. Yes. Okay. Seems like pickaxes are a big thing. Oh, uh, what about that stone golem and the... What did you call it, Elric? Rain? Train. That is all. Well, well, it's a mystical arcane device I've heard of. Or read about, rather. And I'm thinking I might want to... We might want to do that on the moral, because I'm still kind of well, tired. Um, yeah. And I think I'm going to have to use the... Be fresh uh, in order to work this crystal... Um, I like today. that plan. Yeah. All right. So the group heads up to the surface. Uh, give me a d20 roll as you move through these dangerous tunnels. You're still pretty shocked, uh, Tiny, that these tunnels have been under you uh, a good portion of your life and you've never known about them. Maybe one of your brothers, who is an archaeologist, might be really interested in this. Boy, God, love these little world. I hope I do better when it comes to a fight. <laughs> All right, so you get to the well without issue, uh, and you are back up in town. It is now about one. 45 in the afternoon uh, still enough time to do downtime projects if one were so in inclined today uh, uh, we just wanted to get some pickaxes right head back down uh, and speak to Lyra real quick or Lyra sure. yeah. oh, and, were uh, we, or are, were we gonna take it easy and then uh, do a bunch of things tomorrow Oh uh, yeah, we can do that as well. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and buy the pickaxes and head to the house, drop off this dragon bone, and, and get everything ready to head out tomorrow. All right. So moving through the streets, you are met with cheers and applause as the siege breakers are back in town, and everyone seems happy to uh, see you again. Uh, the town's repu or the group's reputation has grown even uh, more solid with this town after helping save it from the blood hand. All right, and uh, I'll be right back. Um, I'll cool. be back at five. Okay, so you can buy uh, gear at book price right now in the town marketplace if you want to buy pickaxes or anything else. All right, this might be a good time for us to split up all the gold that we have. Um, oh, yeah, we still have... Yeah. And uh, remember, well, uh, an easier way to do buying items is to just drag them from the compendium into your inventory, because then it does the weights and everything. Cool. Instead of, like, manually adding stuff, because pickaxes yeah. are a little heavy. Uh, but yeah, if you want to split up the gold, that's fine. Where do you want to go to work on that? I'm just going to do it in the middle of the marketplace. I think, uh, where, my, are we, where was my shop at? Uh, your shop, which is still kind of there, but it's a little bit, uh, toasty, is down here. In the south, uh, uh, southwestern part of the market. Okay. So it probably okay, just uh, needs to be repaired. Public... Okay, is there something there enough that I could stash, like, the chain mill and the, um, plate mill that I'm carrying? So, my friend, you do not need this. Uh, so More than welcome to storage in our house. Yeah, the uh, it, it's kind of it doesn't have a roof, so it's probably not the best place to store things. But apparently, your new friends do have a house you could use for the time being. Okay. Um. With, is there a per chance that I have a pickaxe? Um. Or at least ahead of one in my uh, shop that's still left. Uh, odd or even? Even. 
Uh, yes, you in fact do have a couple of tools, including a pickaxe in your shop. You also have a forge that's still there. Um, it obviously, you know, wouldn't be burned by the, uh, the fires and uh, probably a couple of other things, yeah. like your smith's tools. So I'd you probably could... have my smith tools with me anyway. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so yeah, you probably have a couple of tools like shovels and pick, like maybe like a couple of pickaxes back at your shop if you want to go get some of them. Yes, I will get what I have. Okay, so I'm gonna start uh, when we get back to the house. I'll start splitting up the coin. All right, so you're going to buy your pickaxes, then head back to the HQ? Yep. All right, so we'll say you go to the market. Um, Tiny, you can get two pickaxes for free from your shop. Uh, the rest of you can buy pickaxes. A shovel? Uh, yeah, and if you want, you could take the shovel, too. Uh, and then you would head to the Siege Breaker HQ. Uh, where Elira is. All right, I'm back. She says, uh, hey, Siege Breakers, welcome back. Oh, Elira. She says, you guys are the talk of the town, though you probably know that. Everyone's really uh, happy about all the good things you've done. Indeed. Um, have you found anything on your, uh, scouting missions? Uh, well, I was watching the Blood Hand, but now that they've pretty much been driven out, uh, I don't think any of that is very, uh, useful anymore. Did you have her working on something? I don't, uh... It says on the thing that Bear gave her five platinum to, um... Oh, I guess just spread some good rumors. That was it. Yeah, oh, which yeah. Uh, have been paying off. Because, <laughs> like I said, uh, the town is very happy with the group. Elira, could you possibly look into a matter which we are currently dealing with? She says, uh, wait, could you, uh, you guys know Tiny? Oh, uh, we just met them recently. She says, uh, I know him from, uh, Highguard. He was working on, uh, some armor over there, right? She says, what are you doing back in town? Uh, I came back to town, in town just long enough to see my shop burn. She and laughs. She says, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, um, unfortunately, the, uh, the riots took your shop. She says, uh, well, hopefully your your project in High Guard went well. So sorry, uh, I don't actually know you that well. I just know of you. I would uh, like you. I would go Sounds past like you. your shop a lot. Uh, what did you say? Yeah, I say you never uh, stop. In tiny. She says, uh, well, I, I, you know, I'm. I don't have much use for heavy armors and smithing, but I mean, I uh, I know of you. Jewelry in there as well. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Well, you might not know that if you hadn't if you hadn't been stopped in and looked, you wouldn't have seen the jewelry because you know that wasn't like out in the plain view. Do you have a uh, jewels jewel crafter tools? Shoot. Sure. Uh, tiny, I mean. No, I do not. So, you, yeah, your jewelry probably would have been less, uh, less fancy. You probably had some, but, uh, yeah, without, without knowledge of, like, jewel crafting or whatever, it probably wouldn't have been as fancy. But she nods and says, yeah, well, I mean, it's probably good I didn't know about your jewelry. I might have tried to steal it from you. So, uh, anyway, good to see you all. <laughs> you too, Alira. Or Lyra. Yes, uh, good to see you. So, as I was about to say, um, <clears throat> could you listen out for rumors um, pertaining to a possible 
big hall uh, made in the halls of Tarsus. Oh, so you don't want me to continue talking up the group? You want me to work on getting uh, getting some rumors instead? A little bit of both, actually, if you could. And um, obviously, you will be compensated, but mainly if you could go around maybe the dark water and see if there's anyone uh, boasting about killing, uh, I don't know, an undead dragon. And Jeez, is there anything, anything else you want me to work on? No, but uh, like I said, you would be compensated very well. And then I, uh, I pull out and I give her uh, twenty gold pieces. Uh, give me a persuasion check with advantage. Okay. All right. Let me see here. Persuasion. Oh, with advantage. Thankfully. Gosh, <laughs> with advantage. <laughs> she says, "Yeah, I suppose I can." Oh, uh, by the way, Elric, someone's sleeping in your room. Uh, no, no, that's not, uh, and then I start immediately going and pulling out my short sword and heading to my room. <laughs> All right, uh, so you go over to your room, open the door, and there is a woman sitting on the bed, and she says, do you even knock? Yes, this is my room. <laughs> <laughs> You know, all it's very nice, you know, luxuries. No, you, you probably like the luxury here. This is mine though, however, and I don't believe you asked. So you know well, personal I have to stay somewhere while I'm in this town. Okay. But still, didn't ask. We'll come back to that. We'll loop around. Oh wait, time. actually sorry, I might be getting my <laughs> yeah, games confused. Gone. Uh I think Iara yeah. is actually gone. You sent her back to the Iron Tide. What are you what are you doing here? That's oh, what I was about I was, to ask. I was getting my games mixed up, so never mind. She is not okay. here right now. Let me mark right. that on my notes here, because I oh, sorry. was looking for that. <laughs> uh Ara uh, is currently uh, you sent her back to the Iron Tide camps, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, to let her know Blackwater knows everything and uh, come back in a week, right, Locoon? She was to come back one week from when she left. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Re uh, Lyra says, and I'll start looking into rumors of some kind of uh, large heist. Yes. Um, of a dragon vault, maybe back uh, dragon door chamber, something of that nature. Uh, and then I do have another question. What she kind says, of armor well, are you wearing? I don't think anyone in town is uh, equipped to take on a dragon, but you all. Oh. Well, regardless, uh, could you possibly just listen out? And then what kind of armor are you wearing? She thinks and says, with the, with the uh, blood hand defeated, I feel like only... Um, Blackwater would have the resources to do something like that. That's fine. That seems, that seems uh, like an obvious answer there. It does. It does. That's yeah. why you pay me the big bucks, she says, and gives you a Yeah, wink. and that's why we also want to make sure you are well equipped. So, are you at least uh, wearing uh, st studded leather or armor, or no? She says, no, just leather for me. Uh, but I'm not I'm not the type that gets into a lot of fights. All right. You sure? I do have a set in my room if you need it. I mean, I wouldn't say no to free stuff. So there you go. All right, so I give her one of my sets of studded leather. All right, she takes the studded leather. Mm. All right, and I mark that. Okay. All right, um, real quick. How do I uh, drop items from my sheet like the chain mail and um, so uh, mail. what you can do uh what i usually do is you can make a section under your notes somewhere like uh say siege breakers hq uh and just make a list there of what items you have there and then uh delete them from your inventory and then when you want to put them back in your inventory you can just you know redrag them from the compendium that's what i would do uh, another thing you can do is just uncheck them uh, and uh, make like a 
category called Siege Breaker HQ because then you could kind of keep them in your inventory but have them unchecked so they're not weighing anything. Uh, but yeah, it, there's a couple okay. ways you can do it. It's kind of up to you. Okay. Um, so Lokun will begin splitting up the, the coin. Um, okay. So. Six I'm way split. To... Is it a six way split? Well, you still uh, have to pay Kyrene. Just because she's not here anymore. Her, well, I guess you don't have to. You could tell her you're not going to pay her. That would be uh, kind of cheap, Bad. though. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we don't pay NPCs. <laughs> Get out of here, I mean, Kyrie. I, 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 Get out of here. If we're going to pay all our NPCs, then we got to pay like 10, 12 people probably by at this point. Well, I mean, she was with you for the vault, so she has a pretty okay. good claim on it. I don't think you have to pay, I mean, uh, like, Gnarl or anyone, but, yeah. Okay, because I I actually had combined all the gold that we had in the bag with the stuff from the vault, too. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, is that from before Kyrene's time? Yes, before Kyrene's time. Uh, um, well, do you still have the numbers? Because you could pay her from the... Uh, from the vault, and then pay like everyone else from the other stuff. Oh man, this is a lot of bookkeeping. Okay, give me yeah, that's what I was about to say. Or you could just pay her a share of everything. She's not going to argue with that. I mean, I mean, I I was only there for the vault, so I mean, theoretically. Uh, so if you want those numbers again, here I still have them in my notes. I can give them to you. Yeah, but I have to subtract them. Let me subtract them from the. You know what I'm saying? I gotta... Oh, yeah, yeah, if you combine them already. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Well, I know it's up to y'all, but uh, Kyrene did kind of save our lives a few times. <laughs> if she wants a bigger cut, it's up to you. She says, I wouldn't I mind I more gold. Okay, let's just... Let's just... I don't want to do all this bookkeeping. So <laughs> yeah, that's, gonna, that's what gonna... I was getting to. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm just going to split everything up. Six ways? Uh, six All right. ways. Sounds good. Um, so, hold on a second. Oh, lordy. I, I think I want to move this eventually to Google Spreadsheets or something. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be against that. If you want to start a spreadsheet and just, um, like, give me link the here. link to it or something. Yeah. We can keep it in. I mean, you could just make the link in the, uh, um, what you call it. Although I guess you'd have to give people uh, access to it. I guess, well, I would be the, the only one who has to see it. Uh, so yeah, you just have to give me uh, permission to see it. Okay. Well, the easy one is um, 30, oh, no, 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 no. It's not easy anymore, it's six ways, God damn it. <laughs> just use the calculator. Yeah, I'm using a calculator, but when it's like 0.3, what, what is that? Oh, 0.3 times six. Okay. So what so you could do, gets, yeah. uh, what you could do is just split it into silver pieces and keep the remainder like in the party treasury, or you could just keep like you could just you know um, keep some gold in the treasury and make it an easily divisible number. Yeah. Oh, if I can convert it, that would be great. Um, convert it and just leave it in, in the treasury. That be that makes this a lot. Easier. Yeah. For example, if you had like a hundred gold pieces and you want to give three people thirty three, then you just leave a gold in the treasury or something, something like that. All right. So everybody gets twenty five platinum. Okay. So hold on a second. Actually, I think I got this. Um, that leaves two platinum left in the bag of holding. All right, I, I, I got the hang of this. Math. Nah. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, having extra money in the uh, party treasury isn't bad in case someone needs it for something. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 191 um, gold to everybody. Oh wait, I should be recording this on Kyrene. Uh, so 25 plat, I'll add that. Yep. Yep. And how much gold? Plat. 
191. 191. And that leaves just one gold in the treasury. Yeah. Um, and then, hold on. 10,000. How about six? Everybody gets um, 1,666 silver. Oh, there goes my her weight. Whee! Yep. Oh, with the new encumbered rules, maybe maybe it's okay. And that leaves. Yeah, my my weight's maxed out. Yeah, we're gonna have to hit the bank. That leaves uh, four silver in the uh, treasury. Nice. So what we have, we also have left over is five gold bars worth five hundred GP and two platinum pieces worth 200 GP. But I suppose we just use it at the at the caravan or the markets uh, sometime or wherever. I mean, I'm down for a free gold bar if you want to dish that out, Lokun. That's fine. Like, I'll take it. No problem. I don't think it's free. I think we fought for it. Um, oh, we, yeah, no, only... no, we definitely fought for it. But, you know, if you're offering, I'm just saying. I think but, uh, they're just in the treasury. It's in the he's, treasury. He's being cheeky. And, yeah, uh, yeah. He's just being cheeky. It's in the treasury, and, and I don't think we can uh, split it six ways, unfortunately. Um, no bulls. Uh, yeah. Oh, um, uh, let's just use it as bartering pieces for now. Kyrene. Yes, of course. It was only a jest. Kyrene okay. says once we have more gold in the party treasury, we can just split those up with a hundred gold pieces going to someone. Yeah, that's that's true too. Okay. And uh when is this caravan coming into town? Because we got tons of stuff to trade actually. Uh, I think it's tomorrow. Oh perfect. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're not going into the halls of Tarsus. Probably not. Well, We'll see. We'll uh, see. What, time is, what time is it now? It is... So you probably spent some time splitting stuff up, talking to people. We'll say it's probably about uh, three. We still have time to go down below and we only need uh, maybe um, an hour to get over there and then an hour to... to Break in the break those rocks off. You said, uh, Tiny. Is that correct? Okay. Got a couple hours. Uh, uh, who knows what's on the other side of well, those rocks? That was with a digging team. Uh, so, Tiny, you think if the group did it, looking at how strong they all are, what are your yeah. strength scores? Weak. <laughs> oh no, I'm so weak. I have like eight, so negative one. Yeah, so you kind of look at them and you're like, eh, maybe like five hours. <laughs> bunch of bunch of nerds. I mean, Lokun, Lokun's pretty strong. I mean, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not the strongest. I mean, I'm not the strongest person either. I mean, I'm not weak, but I'm not. Yeah, they're pretty weak. Super strong. Okay. Well. That's, uh, okay. That would take us well into the night, unfortunately. I mean, if you're not doing downtime projects today, then you have plenty of time to do it. I think we should do it, guys. I, I don't want to do more downtime. Very much hoping. Yeah. All right, yeah, let's, let's just do it, and then we'll get a good night's sleep, and then when we get back, we'll uh, go visit the caravan tomorrow. Hold on, can I keep this 1,700 silver in my... In your what? You're cutting out. Uh, you can leave. You can leave anything you want at the Siege Breaker HQ. So if you want to leave some stuff here, uh, Kyrene says she's probably gonna stay here, um, and she'll let you all handle the uh, the digging. She's got some things she has to check into. Being a little cryptic. Yeah. Uh, so Kyrene, um, would you be willing to part 
with that bag of holding. She for the right bag. says, I'll trade you. For what? How about those bracers? Ah, oh, that's not a fair trade. You know that. Isn't it? Aren't the bracers uncommon? Ah, uh, they're rare. Oh. Uh, what else do you have magical item wise? Um. I don't have many magical items, but I do have gold. So, I mean, there's there's a trade-off there. <clears throat> she says, I think, I think the uh, bag is more valuable to me than money right now, especially after that payout. Um, what, uh, do you have anything you're willing to trade magical item-wise? Um, let me take a look. And then uh, I'm gonna go through my inventory real quick. Um, Did she get any other magical items from the uh, the vault? She got the leather plus two, and oh, before we gave her earlier a ring of protection, I believe. Yeah. All right, so you know what I. She says, uh, you guys gave me some good items. Uh, I think we were meaning to split this anyway. So, yes, I'll give this back to the group. Um, I forgot about the leather plus two. That alone is really good. So, yeah, she gives you the bag of holding. Oh, um, and I look at everybody. Is it okay if I keep this? Uh, It'll fit the entire um, box. Yeah, uh, we might need to... Throw some stuff in there from time to time, but yeah, if you want to hold on to it. Yes, of uh, course. Um, so the dragon bone that's in it, is that in the treasury right now? Uh, yes. yes. And she okay. suggests you leave that at the house. Yeah. Yeah. So I dumped the dragon bone. She says, oh, you know uh, what you should do? You should bring that skull back here and mount it on something. Ooh. That would be yeah, a be good, cool. uh, although this place is kind of small, that would take up like a whole room. We need, oh, yes. a, we need a bigger house. Uh, I take I take the ogre head out of. Well, I guess the ogre head is in the bag of holding that Oscar is holding, but I take that out too. Everyone immediately goes, "Whoa!" Oh. It's a horrible, oh. horrible smell. Like just wafts through the room. And I just throw it out the window. She's like, "How long have you had that in there?" <laughs> Forever. Yeah. Um, yeah, like then, that was like from your then first then quest. Yeah, it was like the so, first ogre you killed. <laughs> from session four. Well, yeah, you should get rid of that. She says. Uh, in fact, I think I'm gonna go. I'll see you all later. And wait, wait, wait. Barrett wants to keep the skull, so. We're still keeping it. It'll just stay outside. No one will take it, right? <laughs> Ogre? Then put it in your room if you want. So are you... Can I put it in the basement? The room. Uh, <laughs> no, oh, yeah, that's true. Mind. You live in the Barrett basement, would, so... Barrett would want to make a real your room, room really He's smelly. Uh, well, there are only three rooms and five of you. Mm. He would pass out in the living room on the couch all the time. All right. Well, uh, Kyrene is going to take off at this point. She's not taking the ogre head, so she's not involved in this. Just let me keep it. That's all I'm Okay. Have. Okay. Ogre headed. I, I logged it in the freaking thing. All right. Ogre head <laughs> H2 basement. There you go. Wait, where is the <laughs> H2? Just like document? throw it down the stairs. Uh, well, there's no document. You just kind of make note of any of your stuff you're leaving at the headquarters. So just well, you put yeah, sorry, seventeen hundred silver pieces, or let's go, let's go, uh, sixteen hundred. No, no, you you um, can just write that in your notes that you left it at the HQ. You don't need. I hmm. I can't edit the notes. No, your own notes, your like own your notes. like in your sheet somewhere. Just make like I a. I really don't want to log everything for anybody. Yeah, we we don't need we don't need like a house log. Like you can just make a note somewhere on your sheet of what oh you left at the house. Gosh, look at this whole page I never use. All right, yeah, got there it. you go. <laughs> use that page. So yeah, make just a little list for yourself somewhere of anything you're leaving at the house. By the way, um, quick question, just so I do some house cleaning here. I guess everything from Blackwater Estate is long gone, right? That, yes, it's probably still there, but he probably took it. Yeah. So, 
yeah, if you want to delete it, or you could go yell at him and ask him for it back, but yeah, he probably will. I don't think we care about this point. He just All left right. a bunch of junk in his house. Pretty much. Alright, so anything else? Or are you heading back down? Uh, I think we're heading back down. Alright, uh, why don't we take a quick five minute break uh, and oh. do some stretching cool. and then we'll get to the next part of the going into the uh, that place. Alright, I'll be right back. Would I have had time for a short rest real quick? While all this was going on? Uh, yeah, I think so. Sure, we'll say you had time for a short rest. Anyone who wants so, uh, to what, take one. Are we going back into the, uh, the halls? Yeah. Or you know what? Actually, no, you guys were walking around, so you probably wouldn't have been able. If you want a short rest, you'd have to take another hour. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm a liar. But yeah, cool. five minutes, I'll be right back. Cool, all right. Uh, what did I miss? I had to leave for a second. Uh, we just split up to the rest of the platinum. There was more platinum? Yeah, sorry, you missed it. Wait, how much? <laughs> Wait, what? what? Don't you. worry about it. <laughs> I was like, wait a sec. Yeah, I didn't don't know worry about it. <laughs> I'm kidding around. Okay, uh, so before we go back in, I uh, gotta want to stop by and uh, see if Melody can start working on a another health potion. <clears throat> cool. Uh, yeah. Did you want time to cast your ritual, Loki? I mean, not. Unless, if everybody wants to move, then I'll move. If, if, if cool. you guys want to do spend some like an hour, then I'll cast it. But I'm oh, not adamant yeah, no, on it. Yeah, I'm I'm down with that because I can recast and bring back my closet. Okay, so that works so, out. So uh, Oscar can get his rest in, and oh, uh, the all are the best. Yeah. Okay. Hey, and just quick question: <laughs> Do you guys mind if I take the scrolls um, from the bag of holding? Sounds um, great. Yeah, yeah. Some wizard scrolls. Yeah, I have no desire. Okay, sweet. Can Barrett draw on them? <laughs> yeah, like destroy my scrolls. I'll, I'll, after, I'll, I'll like take a like a scrap piece of paper and 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 write some fake arcana there and, and give it to you and be like yeah you can draw on that scroll right there Barry has decided he would probably where I don't know where I want to sleep in the house guys <laughs> wait you <laughs> live, I was about to say you live in the uh you called the basement, basement didn't you yeah you called it <laughs> it's your room now. But not with the ogre head now. Well, it the basement's really big, so That's, hey, if you don't want it, I'll I'll, I'll trade places with you. I'll Actually, split that place up. I wonder if this um this house has a fireplace. We can probably just turn up the skull in the fireplace and kind of oh yeah, or in the backyard clean, clean off the. Burn off the flesh, kind of. I guess. Are we are flesh. we moving the dragon the dragon skull to the basement or no? Uh we didn't take. Oh, did we take the dragon skull? Yeah, I didn't mean, think I, we could carry it. No, no, no but it was too I big. Only took, I only took uh, two hundred pounds of dragon bone. So. so I don't need to put that on my on my sheet, right? You already have that. Dragon bone. Yeah, the two hundred pounds. It's in the HQ. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, oh. you guys, you guys can see the group treasury sheet. If oh. Um, yep. Click on group treasury, you can see it. So, also, Elric, you can have the basement. Oh, do you do want to trade? I'll trade. All right, it may get Frankenstein down there. Uh, I have to ask for privacy now. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally there, fine. And there, like, uh, and stuff down there. Yeah, a little, little freaky down there. I'll just put the ogre head like outside and. Put a sign on it and says, don't touch. Oh, what? No, animals. Fuck animals. Um, just kidding. Sorry, Oscar. 
Dragon <laughs> Roku <laughs> would rather just stay in his tiny hut just because it feels like it's the most secure thing, anyways. I wonder maybe he can just cast that if just there's no room in the living room. room. Yeah. Also, y'all, what's your room? Lacoon. Yeah. I'm so sorry, but Barrett is super not into the flame tongue. Are you not? No, he I'm likes sorry. wearing it. He uh, likes what? The flame tongue dagger. I don't think Barrett wants it. He wants to give it back to the party if anyone else wants to use it. He'll just um, use it as an accessory. It's, uh, it's, a tor it's a torch for you, and it does it does more damage as a melee weapon for you. But uh, yeah, if you oh. don't want it, then I keep forgetting about the torch. Yeah, it's free torch. Yeah, no, uh, never mind. Because I can get rid of all these torches. Oh, now. Forty foot radius. It's better than a torch. I know, and I forget. I can't see. Never mind. And torches weigh a lot, so I can get rid of some weight. Yeah. Anything, anything hits for another D6 or D4. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Dude, I'm going to have a lot of D6s. Damage. Let me just say, I have a lot. Combine that with your sneak there. attack or something. Yeah, that's nasty. I know. I'll use it. But he yeah, loves his... Use. I'll pro I I'll just try not to lose it. It doesn't come back to me. He's Use it, don't used, lose it. He's oh, so it. used to his brain daggers that just appear in his hand and then Yeah. No, if you're throwing, then your brain daggers are the way to go. If you're trying to if they're up close in your face and you wanna disengage out, then the flame tongue is the way to go. Oh my yeah, god. The, the item, the item so interaction is the flame, flame tongue for sure. Yeah. So you switch between the two, brain daggers for ranged and flame tongue for up close, and that's how you'll use it. That's I'm the best idiot. way, I think. That's a good idea. Guys, I let me tell you, I am one uh, armored, oh, well, actually technically unarmored, but armored up uh, warlock. I have 19 AC. Yeah. That was uh, crazy. Another thing we ought to do during our downtime is find some freaking armor for Oscar. That's you said we sure. had chitin, right? We have uh, two pieces of Ankeg chitin, which All we've right, been hauling with us since like the beginning of time. And oh. uh, now we got some uh, dragon scale as well. Well, so yep, exactly. Two of those things. We well, the probably... the Ankeg chitin can be made into armors that are natural, so that would work for Oscar. You can make him a heavy dragon. armor. We could add oh. the dragon bone, or not dragon bone, the dragon scales to, to it. Do you think Tiny could? Uh, Tiny, do you think does Tiny know how to work this kind of stuff? Oh, but actually, that is leather working, I believe, for yeah. uh, Ankeg. So you you probably have to hire someone to uh, at least help with it. All right. Well, that's what we'll all do during town time, I guess. Okay. So anyway, how is the group going back down through the well or the statue? Uh, the closest is probably the statue, right, guys? The statue's definitely closer, less tunnels. Right. So uh, before we do that, I want to stop by the marketplace and ask uh, Melody if she would not mind crafting another potion for me. And I'll mark off the uh, supplies. Oh, uh, one other thing. Uh, actually, I forgot to say the prices are at... 80% instead of 100% book price right now. Oh, uh, so, so everything's a little cheaper. So it normally takes 25 gold pieces to craft the health potions? So oh, well, that's not for crafting. That's just for, like, your pickaxes oh. and stuff that you buy. She All still right, needs um, the same amount to craft, but usually they would cost 50, so it's still way cheaper to her have her craft them. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, I mark off 25 gold pieces of uh, rare mushrooms, which you said could be used. Yeah, and she says, I can have you a healing potion by the end of the day. Uh, thank you, Melody. It's, uh, it's good to see you. Let me know if you need anything. And Melody would also finally meet Tiny for the first time. So she is uh, happy to see you all, and she would uh, say hi for a bit as you walked as you came through. Uh, and yeah, she'll get started on that. Awesome. All right, so you go <laughs> underground. Lokun, were we doing your ritual? Yeah, and just by the way, um, we decided to uh, take an hour 
for Oscar to take a rest and for um, um, El Elric and myself to summon our familiars. Okay, so casting does uh, require a strenuous activity, so you wouldn't be able to rest if you were summoning your familiar. I'm not trying to rest. Oscar's trying to rest. Okay. Yep. Just a minute. Uh, so the hour passes. So it's about 4.30. Or, sorry, 4. When you go Head back down. down. Heading into the barrows again. Alright, and then you are traveling back up uh yeah i do the same by the way um uh, so me and me and lagoon both okay, summon our familiars. yeah okay uh you summon your familiars uh and then you're heading back in through the statue entrance to the halls of tarsus uh give me a d20 roll see if you encounter anything on the way uh, you're doing pretty good and you would get back to that room around 4.30. I'll drag your characters on. Just give me a moment. Coon, Oscar, Barrett, Elric, and Tiny. So we didn't see the Bodak again while walking here? Nope, the halls were clear. It's just oh, being man. sketched somewhere else. That mystery Bodak, I think, is the boss of the dungeon, of the Halls of Tarsus. He's the real boss. Yeah. Alright, so you're going to start breaking up rocks? Yep. Alright, yep. you're making quite a bit of noise. I need another d20 roll. Especially over such a long period of time. Hey, 20. Oh. Uh, and I need athletics checks from everyone who is helping to break the rocks. To see how well you do. Alright. And I'm going to have the skeleton uh, help us out too. Okay. Yeah, so he can make a check as well. Oh, Lokun is on it. Lokun's got a six pack under that armor. <laughs> um, what do I do for a skeleton? Just strength, I guess? Yeah, it would be a strength check for him. Yeah, Lokun and Tiny are, uh, they got, they got some, uh, some six packs. So they're breaking stone. Uh, Oscar is out of breath and almost passed out on the floor. <laughs> but you, uh, you actually do pretty well. Um, and after only about, you're a lot better than I thought you would. So after only about three hours, uh, you manage to break through. Just give me one moment here. So it's about seven o'clock when you finally break up the last bit of rocks uh, and the rocks kind of fall apart, uh, caving into the side, revealing a passage. Uh, you hear what sounds like a strange whisper coming from the darkness up ahead. Do any of us recognize it? All right, what I missed, uh, I'm sorry. You don't, um, but a moment later, something oh. comes flying out of the shadow. Oh, Lordy. The Boba. The Boba Duke? <sighs> Bojack Horseman. Oh, it's a wraith. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, give me yeah. initiative rolls as three wraiths come flying into the room. <sighs> Alright, let me pull out my skeleton and the uh, war banner. Mm -hmm. 
skeleton with two HP. I'm sure it'll be fine. And uh, the skeleton rolls his own initiative as well, right? No, uh, yes. I believe so. Uh, is everyone on there? Looks like I'm... Oh, okay. Give me a second. Uh, I got three guys to roll for. Who's your third guy? Oh, you're familiar. Ooh. There we go. All right, everyone's on there. Uh, yep. Just for the record, I'm looking for the icon now. Uh, if Baird was down there, he would have his flame tongue out with uh, with it on and with a light so he could see. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. It's the, I think it's the, well, if it's the dagger, then yeah, it's the f torch one. Uh I don't know why I can't find it. I found it so. Uh, it is this one. Uh, all right. So the first to act as these wraiths come screaming out of the darkness is Oscar. What do you want to do? Hey. Well, that surprised me. Um, I think I will use one of my emboldening bonds as an action. Okay. So that gives 30 feet. Um, but I will use it on... Um, tiny... Uh... Elric and Barrett. All right. Uh, I don't think we have an emboldening bond uh, marker, Hello, so Joe. just, I guess, uh, whatever you want to use to represent that. It just have to be the same mark, or you just have to remember Oscar. But it's usually good. There you go. Barrett chose something. Cool. Barrett's got it. Pentagram. So just give yourselves a purple that pink pentagram. One. Oh, I guess it's purple. Maybe a mauve. Yeah. No, more like a lilac. Cool. Uh, anything else, Oscar? Uh, and then I am going to bury my. Whoopsie, sorry. That was way probably way more than twenty-five <coughs> feet. Bury my little legs over there. And that'll be my turn. All right, Elric. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm in quite a predicament at the moment. Mm. Yep, they flew right out, right at you. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I'm tempted to just fireball and kill everybody, but I think there's alternatives here. Let's find out. Um. So they get an attack opportunity if I move. If you leave right. their threatened area. Okay. <clears throat> Without disengaging. Without disengaging. I think I'm going to take that uh, here. Uh, so I could probably move. Yeah, that's double movement. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to move here. <clears throat> And you disengage? Nope. You oh. got that op. All right. They will take the oppies. Uh, the first one takes an, un an unobstructed attack on you with his life drain. Uh, eight would miss you, luckily. Uh, the second one will also attempt to do this from around the corner, giving you plus two for the cover. Uh, 17 ver or 19... Would just hit you, I think. You right? Say plus two though, right for cover? Yeah. Well, it says your AC seventeen. Is that incorrect? It's incorrect. Sorry, it's unupdated. It's nineteen now. 
Oh, uh, so then yes, that would miss you luckily because of the hard corner there. Let me, uh, let me update that. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, and uh, I'm gonna tell. Use my bonus action to tell the closet to uh, get get behind me, and I'm going to make a. Uh, well, let me see if I have any uh, spell slots. Okay, so I don't have any level one spell slots anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cast uh, Eldritch Blast at this one. Alright, you let loose several blasts of energy. Pew. Uh, oh, you also get a d4 on one of them if you want. Okay, uh, I'll do it on the first one. Why not? Uh, doesn't matter. Yep, there we go. Uh, so the 14 and 22 both strike, blasting the one in the front twice for uh, 12 points of damage. All right, and uh, I end my turn. All right, Tiny. Uh, um, yeah, uh, let's see. I'm kind, of, kind of just gonna, um, gonna say, be gone, you foul beast. Lord is name, be turned undead. All right, so you present your holy symbol. Uh, as radiant energy begins to flow from it, and they, I believe, have to make wisdom saves, right? Yep, correct. Wisdom save, 13. Uh, is the DC only 13? Yeah, I, I got a little wisdom. Okay. Oh, well, the first one fails it. Uh, the second one... Would make it, and the third one uh, would make it. So the first one is turned as he screeches at you, backing up from the holy symbol. Uh, anything else, Tiny? All the, uh... uh nope. Okay. Barret. That'd be, that'd be it. I'm going to pull my shield out and brace for impact. Alright, so if you have your shield out, mark yourself with this one. Uh, although, while you were digging, I don't think you would have had your shield out, Something. so you would have to take an action to equip it. Okay. So that means that my hammer's uh, two-handed, then. Yeah, you... Probably could have. Uh, were you digging with your hammer or the pickaxe? Uh, my hammer. I was smashing with a hammer. All right, uh, Barrett. What are you gonna do? So then you have a weapon melee equipped. Um. Hello. So Barrett drops the flame tongue there because he still needs light. Okay. Um, oh, I guess. Oh no, I'm a dummy. I can still hold it and throw a dagger. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you can hold it in your uh -huh. offhand. Yeah, we're we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. And then I'm gonna throw a I'm gonna throw a brain dagger at front. What is up with that skull thing on him? He is know. turned. He's turned. Oh, is that? He's retreating because of Tiny's presented holy symbol. Uh, well, <laughs> that's your. That's the only one I get a uh, sneak on, so... <coughs> Do it. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. Okay. Hopefully. Uh, 15 will strike him, so he is no longer turned as you break the fear effect. Uh, doing 4 psychic and 11 sneak, so 15 points of damage. That was a terrible sneak roll. Very sad. Uh, anything else? Uh, yeah, I'll throw my off. I'll throw another psychic uh, uh, with them. Uh, you can't because you have your dagger in your offhand, right? So I was thinking that, but they just appear in my hands, my dagger. Yeah. So, real like, 
Does it, but does it say it's an offhand attack or does it say it's a second? Like, well, link the ability. Let me see what it yeah. says. I, I consider it like uh, the, the Bracer of Daggers. That's what I, how I think of it. Yeah, let's see what it says. Uh, yeah, it doesn't actually say it has to be an offhand. It just says it's a bonus action. Uh, provided, oh wait, provided your other hand is free to create it. So now you would have to have your other hand free. Oh. Uh, it says it right at the end there. Uh, so you could still drop your flame dagger and then do it. Oh, I'm okay. Okay. Uh, so the wraith Sorry, goes. The dude. <laughs> uh, no longer being affected by turn. It is going to screech and go for Barrid. <sighs> Flying at you with a life drain. Uh, ooh, 23. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, yeah. Yeah, no, that sucks. Uh, all right, so you are struck for 21 Necrotic. Can I have that with my reaction? Uh, yeah, you I can, because I believe uh, if you want to link I'm the kidding. ability, I believe it just has to be a melee attack. Oh, with an attack, uh, so it doesn't even have to be a melee. Uh, so yeah, so you spend your reaction only taking 10, and I need a con save. Oh, all right. So unfortunately, uh, I'm gonna no. We're gonna lucky that. Oh, all um, right. Lucky dice. I think your mic might be cutting out. Yeah, it's been cutting out a bunch. Like I can only hear about half of what you're saying. Uh, so you do make the con save. So you just take ten damage. All right. Awesome. Uh, and I assume that's it. Well, that was his turn, yeah. So the Quasit is going to fly back behind you, Elric. Uh, yep. And does it have a ranged attack? Uh, let me check out the closet summon. It has scare, which is within 20 feet, but I don't think you can scare undead, can you? Uh, that would require a religion check. Uh... But, right now. No. Yes, <laughs> uh, well, no, you can make it on your turn as a bonus action. Uh, but yeah, so I'll just say your closet's hanging out for now since you just kind of told it to get behind. Uh, War Banner. Um, War Banner will swoop in and swoop out. All right, he does fly by. I, uh, on which one? That guy? All right. Yep. So he is distracted, swatting at War Banner. Um, this one here is not happy with Tiny, so he's going to fly over, get behind you, and attack. Oh, that's oh. a crit. And Tiny needs adamant. Is this? Tiny yeah, this crit. is like the same thing as last game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is like, like 10 crits roll 20, yeah. <laughs> she takes some kind of weird, like like feet that gives the game crits on you all right so i assume no one can do anything right no i don't have silvery barbs if that's what you're asking all right so you would take 31 oh. necrotic nasty hit uh and i would need a con save to try to not make that a life drain attack Oof, alright. Oh, no. So unfortunately your max is reduced by 31. Emboldening bond? Oh, well, uh, I don't think well, he can hit 14. Yeah, I don't think he can get it up to 14, unfortunately. Uh, so Tiny looks really withered by that attack as his uh, yeah max drops by 31, and he takes 31 damage. Uh, the oh, skeleton man. goes. He Did yeah, you give him a command? I... I haven't even taken my turn yet, so he just dodged. All right, so yeah, he's just standing there dodging. Uh, Locoon. Oh, man. 
and uh, I don't have my shield out yet, right? Um, no, not yet, because you were digging. Is an action to don it? Uh, yes, that would take your action. Okay. I'll, I'll use my action to don it. Um, all right, you strap your then, shield in place as uh, all these wraiths are attacking. I'll stay here, um, and then I'll use my bonus action to tell my skeleton to uh, stay back, draw his crossbow, and shoot the wraiths, basically. Okay. Uh, the last wraith has an idea. He's going to fly over, landing here, and go for Elric. <sighs> Uh, nine will miss you, luckily, as you jump back from his attempted grab. Uh, and that is it for that round. Oscar, new round. What are you going to do? Tiny got very drained by one of them, but he's still alive. Not looking great. Shoot, mute. sorry, I didn't realize I was muted. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I saw that hit on Tiny. Not a fan of that. Um... I'm going to toss out a uh, bear totem. Okay. It's giving temp HP of 10 to everyone. Right? Uh, I think we're up to 11. 11? Okay. I actually still had my temp HP from uh, our previous encounter. All right. Uh, well, Drew's level. Uh, well, if you yeah. don't, now you have 11, if you have less yep. than 11. I can use cool. it. So, that is bonus action. This guy is right in front of me. Uh, I am going to use Bull of the Dead on the one who was hit by a barrage. Okay. I believe it's the one right in front of him. Uh, Alright, so Where? you cast Toll the Dead, sending necrotic energies at the Wraith. Uh, and he will make a wisdom save. Whoop. I that. Uh, cool. Eight will fail, and he will take no damage because he is immune to necrotic energy. Oh, I mean he's basically made yeah. of necrotic energy. <clears throat> that is true. Bad planning. Bad planning. I'm sorry, guys. I'm uh, going now. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. Anything okay. else? So that's action, bonus action, um, and I am not moving from this spot. So that is my turn. All right, Elric. All right, so would I be casting Scorching Ray at disadvantage at the one right in front of me? Yes, because it would be a ranged versus a melee attacker. Uh, be disadvantage at anybody. Um, yes, anyone around. you attack because you have someone threatening you melee, uh, you'd be at disadvantage. All right, well, looks like I'm going to be taking movement, giving him an opportunity to attack at me again. All right, he will happily take that. Doing a life drain attack. Ooh, 23. Uh, um, you know what? Like, just just for, because I, I, I don't want to take it. I'm going to uh, use shield. All right, so you spend your reaction knocking the attack away. Yeah. Uh, that would take one of your third, level third right levels. Now. Yep. Um, so, yeah, but I didn't want to take that at all, so shield. Well, you saw Tiny get hit pretty hard. It's not a bad idea. Uh, so, reaction spent, and then I'm going to, from here, cast Scorching Ray at third level. Okay, at uh, that guy right there. At, at yeah, at, at this guy right here. Alright, so he has no cover because he's basically right next to you. As you send out some scorching rays. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it's it's at third level, so that's four. So, uh, wait, why is that not? Okay, so 
Scorching Ray, and then the ability. So, fourth level. Uh, get in here. It would be it would be four. Um, I think. Let me see. You create three rays. Yeah. So four rays of two d six fire. Uh, all right. So you shoot off the four rays. Looks like the first one hit for. Uh, is that two? Yeah, that's low. So one point of fire damage because they are resistant to fire. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, second right. one? It's seven. Seven. Well, you have to roll to attack. Yeah, I roll. Each one is an attack. Each one is a Each separate is a... attack. Oh. So yeah, it's four different yeah. attacks. Okay. So you would have to do another attack roll, spell attack. I'm confused. I'm sorry. Make a, uh, a you do, attack. yeah, you do four oh, attacks. I, I mean, it's I see. Okay, so uh, yeah, let me roll uh, three more of those, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah, twenty. Oh, yeah, all three of those are gonna hit. Good rolls. So, the, so that's uh, three points, four points, and three. So, ten points more of fire damage. Garbage. Yes, unfortunately, these things seem to uh, resist fire. I did not know that. I wish I would have known that before I <laughs> did that. Okay, uh, so I order Fawcett, um to go scratch its, scratch its uh, essence. <laughs> just, Get him, boys! Go. All right, Quasit will attack on his turn. Uh, Tiny. Okay. So you're, you're a little bit hurt. You got a lot of hurt. Yeah, a lot hurt. You got two of these. One of them's going for Barrett. This one is still looks like he's going for you. Unfortunately, Barrett broke your turn. Um, let's see. Don't know why he did um, that. All right, well, no, he's just gonna. I'm just gonna attack. Uh, uh which one are you going for? Um, one been hit before. The one right above me. All right, so you bring your hammer to bear against the enemy. Oh, it's plus one, so it'd be 25. Uh, yes, 25 would definitely hit using the distraction for advantage. Uh, and that's magical, right? Yes, it is. Plus one. All right, so he is so struck for, points. yeah, nine points of magical bludgeoning. And he is now looking angrily at you instead of Barad. Uh, oh, and he's wounded. <laughs> that hurt him. Uh, anything else? Um, let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Healing. healing word is a uh, bonus action, am I correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna cast healing word on myself. All right. So you channel healing energies, uh, hoping to keep yourself alive. Oh well, not the best. So three points, better than nothing. Well, I only had ten. I could get back anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Anything? And, uh, you picked up your temp HP, right? Yeah, he has those. Uh, so yeah, you heal back three, and uh, is that it for you? Uh, anything else, Tiny? That's it. Yeah, that's it for me. All right, Barred. Nope. Uh, Barred is like, that's my boy, Tiny, and he's gonna hit the one. Right Oh, I lost you again. Your mic's cutting out. Yeah, it's because I'm away from my mic. I can't. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're saying. You can roll the attack though. I think you said uh -huh. you're. Yeah, up. Oh, heard that. So you're hitting this guy. Yeah, with my flame tongue. All right, you Better. stab at him with the flame tongue dagger. I assume your flame tongue dagger is lit. Uh, okay. Seventeen will strike it. Uh, so you do 
Uh, let's set f six points of fire, which halves to three. Then four points from the dagger, so seven. Then 18 sneak is 25. Uh, you got his attention again, and he is near death. Anything else? Um. Yeah, I'm going to bonus action disengage and hopefully take him away from, like, tiny a bit. So there's only one around him. Okay. Come on, Barrett. So you and, move over oh, that way. No, wait, hold on. Would it disengage, disengage them both? Yep. Yes. Oh, so I could get here without any obbies, right? Yes. And is, is this this is this um I can't stand here, right? No, there's a pillar there. All right, Barrett will go right here then. All right. And uh, sorry, yeah, with the mic, I'm trying something new. So if I'm like this, you can hear me fine. Yes. So far, yeah. Okay. I'd go back yep. to what you were doing. <laughs> All right. Good to know. Uh, so this one is going to fly after you. Uh, Tiny, you can oppy it if you want. I will definitely try to hit it. All right. So you spend your reaction. Uh, as you swing yep. at the creature. Oh, yeah, 20 will 21. connect. Or 21. Uh, and 12 will bring it down. Nice. Uh, go ahead and spend your reaction, and that is it for that wraith. Uh, the quasit is gonna shriek rushing at this thing. I uh, at it. What is the symbol for the reaction again? Uh, it is on the first row. It's okay. like the Ghostbuster one. The no right. smoking one. Yeah, the no smoking, yeah. Uh, Alright, so uh, go ahead and roll for his attack, Elric. Oh, yeah, 16 will hit. Alright. Uh, where do I do the damage at? If you say. just click on claw in the chat, it'll roll, same as a weapon. Oh, okay, perfect. Uh, so he is immune to poison because he's undead, uh, and I think he would only take three because the quasi is not considered a... It's considered magical because of one of my invocations. Let oh, one of your Pact of the Chain things? Yes. Okay. So he scratches him for six then, getting the creature's... Let me see. Investment of the chain, one or the other. Yep, investment. Ah, I see. Absurd magical. Okay. Uh, all right. So yeah, he scratches him for six as the wraith turns towards the little and, demon. Uh, I can I make him fly like, uh, uh, well, how do you put it? Fly in, attack, and then like dash out back towards me, or no? Uh, he would get an oppie if he did that, because he doesn't have disengage or, right. like, the owl You're thing. Right. And I'll, uh, I'll just leave him where he's at. Alright, War Banner. Woo. War Banner swooping in, swooping out. Alright, uh, yep, the wraith is swinging his arms around, trying to get the owl off him. Distracted. Uh, the wraith here is gonna try to go for Tiny. Oh my god. What is going on? Know. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is like a glitch or something like that. How is... How... All right, that well... is unbelievable. What? Oh no, tiny. Uh, well... I, I could roll that ten more times and see how many more crits you get out of that. <laughs> tiny, remember you have emboldening bond too, by the way. You, you should be using that almost every turn. All right, uh, well... Hmm. Oh man. So, That's... yeah, uh, this could bring you down. Um, you definitely want to use uh, your probably advantage on the save to not get life drain because that could be an insta kill. And your emboldening bond. Because you have uh, you have an inspiration point, right, Tiny? 
Yes. So I would so. suggest using that on the save, because that is a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh, holy crap. It's still probably gonna bring me down. Well, well it's it might not kill you, because if it if you don't make the save, you'll get your life drained. Which will automatically kill you. Mmm. Oh there's my god. Oh. Two. Uh. I'm sorry, man. So. so use the 8 and then bolting on. 1d4, yeah. D4? Yeah. I would only get him up to 12, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh. So. And that that gives me advantage. What about the uh, inspiration? Is that what that was? I don't know. That's that what it was. Or... Yeah. Um. So we'll uh we'll say you got the second roll. Uh, cause I do feel bad about all these crits. Yeah, that's crazy. So I'll oh, say man. we'll use that second roll, and you're at fifteen, so you're unconscious. Uh, you do not get killed outright by this guy. Uh, so Tiny would go down, and that is it for the Wraith. How many, Her, how many, how many points? So you're, you took 50 points of damage. Uh, luckily, you did have the temp HP. So you would just be at zero. 17, so 20, I had 28 total. Is yeah, so you would just be at zero. Okay. Uh, the skeleton goes, so Tiny goes down, uh, he is unconscious on the ground. Uh, the skeleton goes, did you tell him uh, to attack? Yeah, his last orders were to stay back, um, draw his weapon, his crossbow, and shoot the, uh, Wraith. Alright, so he's gonna shoot at, I guess he'll move back to here. Uh, and he'll shoot at this wraith with advantage. Donk. Oh, 20 will strike him. Uh, that would be two points of piercing. Yeah. Uh, and Locoon, what are you going to do? Tiny is down, though luckily he seems to still be breathing. Yeah. Huh. I mean, I guess this is the time when I just be the uh, tank for now. I'll just move over to Tiny. Um, standing on top of him. Okay. And uh, I'll cast uh, Mirror Image on myself for now. Alright, so several more Locoons appear as you try to confuse the Wraith. Uh, this Wraith up here is going to go for your Demon. He did not like getting scratched. Oh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna smack it. It's gonna explode. Oh well. Oh, oh. No, natural one. He will swing with the demon. Yips and jumps back out of the way. Uh, new round, Oscar. He's flying. Uh, so he dodged it. Yeah. Um. I'm going to yell out to uh, Locoon. Uh, let me know when to bring Tiny up. Uh, Elric. And, uh, or wait, yeah. Uh, I'll cast Sacred Flame. Alright, so you hurl some Sacred Fire at this guy? Yeah, at the guy right in front of me. Alright, he will attempt to deck save. Uh, oh, yep, he, uh, he makes it. easily he dodges good. that. Uh, Elric. Cool. Um, I, uh... I oh, wait, sorry, it. Oscar. Were you going to use your bonus action for anything? Uh, I... I think I'm going to hold off. Okay. Uh, yeah, Elric. What I wouldn't be do? able to, like, ready a healing word, which is a bonus action, because that's an action, right? Yeah, ready you can only something. ready actions, so you'd have to cool. heal now with a bonus. Cool, yeah, I'm going to, uh, wait for Locoon's cue. Okay. Uh, Elric. I yell to, uh, the closet, uh, hold him back! 
uh, to give me a little leeway from this this wraith. And then I uh, think about using my rod to get back a spell slot, but a lot of my fire, you know, a lot of my attacks are fire based. So instead, I I go with uh, an Eldritch Blast at, at this wraith right here. Alright, so you send two bolts of energy. Uh, one of them would connect. Ooh, 11. And 11 okay. force damage. Alright, and uh, I end my turn because I use my bonus action to tell the closet to stay on him. Alright, so Tiny, uh, everything is kind of blurry as uh, death closes in and I need a death save. Please don't be a one. Okay. Alright, so you hold on, keeping death at bay for now. Uh, Barrett. Uh, Barrett would, would yell, like, uh, heal him, I, I'll get the wraith, and he'll just bonus action steady aim and attack this wraith with, uh, his brain dagger. Alright, you hurl a brain dagger at that one. Uh, 14 will strike. Luckily these are Do not well armored. An attack roll if you want, buried. All right, well, it hit, so I will not use it this time. But, uh, yeah, you could I drop wouldn't... your flame tongue and uh, throw a second one. Didn't, didn't we decide I could throw it with the same hand? No, you can't because you have to have your offhand free. Is oh, what yeah, your I thing remember. Says. I remember. I remember. Um, yeah, okay. But, uh, uh oh, yeah, nine and eighteen. Now, they don't have psychic resistance, right? No, they don't. Uh, so he takes 27. Uh, definitely notices that. Turns at towards you angrily. Uh, I would make a rude gesture at him. Um, I would drop my flame dagger and throw the other one. Okay. Uh, I'll throw a dropped weapon item down. Yeah, uh, you can just put a torch on the ground since it oh. is glowing. Okay. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and make your second attack. Yeah. Oh, well, that's not going to matter, even with a ah. plus 1d4. Alright, anything else? That will be it. Right. So I actually forgot to use my emboldening bond. Uh, I just miss out, right? Yes, if you don't, yeah. you have to call to use it. If you don't use it, it's just considered unused for that turn. All right. uh, the wraith is dead. The quasit is going to screech and slash again. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Claws him good. Quasit is down for it. Uh, for four. another four. Uh, which I think uh, would wound him. <sighs> and that is it for the Quasit War Banner. War Banner is going to swoop in and distract that same one. Okay. So he is distracted, uh, offering advantage on the next attack. The Wraith over here is going to swoosh at Barrett. Uh, I don't think you have a weapon, uh, Locoon, right? Nope. Uh, 19, Barrett. Uh, that would hit. Alright, so he drains some life. You take 19 necrotic, and I need a con save to avoid the life drain. You can use the bond for this. I, yeah, I am going to use the bond. Okay. And I am also going to use uncanny dodge to half that damage. Oh, good call. Uh, so you would only take 9 damage, and yep, you have to make a con save with a d4. Uh, it's a good thing you did, because that would give you just enough, no matter what you rolled. So you would make it, and you only take the damage, no drain. So nine really damage. <laughs> oh, yep, see? Just enough. Ten damage? Uh, nine damage. Okay. Uh, skeleton is going to reload and fire at the guy who he has advantage on again. Okay. 
and keeps stealing all Dunk. the Uh He will miss. Or, or, yeah, he would just miss with that. Yeah, stealing the advantage. Um, so, like, no, shoot the other one. Uh, Locoon, yeah. what are you going to do? I'll tell him to shoot the one that's not distracted. He's like, <laughs> huh? Oh, okay, boss. Yeah, and then, uh, but I will come up, and then I'll tell Oscar, um, bring him up when you can. Um, I think Tiny will be able to um, move after you. And uh, Okun is just going to run up to this other wraith. And uh, let's see, what do I do here? He's just going to do a shocking grasp on that wraith. Alright, you attack him with lightning energy, hoping that he's not resistant to this. Yeah, let's see. Uh, 11... Uh, yeah, 11's gonna miss, unfortunately. Uh, anything else? Is it? I hope I drew his attention, though. Uh, he's probably I still more mad at Barrett because Barrett stabbed him. Ugh. But Baird is bloodied, by the way. I would uh, say I'm marking it now. He's wounded. Uh, he's not below half. Oh, I didn't use my 10 hit points. Oh, dear. Oh, well then give yourself 9 back. And take 9 from your temp. Uh, I but thought yeah. we had 11. 11. 11. Yeah, but he only hits you for 9. Oh, yeah. Because you uncanny dodged. Uh, so the wraith goes up here. It will. It's getting annoyed at that skeleton, but it's going to keep attacking the closet. Uh, Fifteen. Uh, I I think it actually hits. Okay. Uh, yeah. The closet does have temp HP. Oh yeah, it does. Um. So it would take twenty-one. I think the temp HP would not save it. Not uh, so that's seventeen, right? So what I do is I use my reaction um, to use. Sorry, uh, to use what, what is it called? Investment of the Chain Master. Okay. Uh, which lets me. Oh, uh, reaction. <laughs> To give it resistance, yeah. so it only takes 10, which would all go to the temp, so it has one temp HP back, uh, left. Uh, mark right. yourself as using your reaction, and Oscar. Alright. Well, uh, I guess the first thing I'm doing is using my bonus action, healing word, what? to all right. revive tiny. All right, Tiny and would gain he also gets a D4 because of my Moonsicle. Oh, 11. So the gods smile on you as you gain 11, Tiny, pulled back from the brink. Uh, I'll yell for Tiny, uh, get out of there, protect yourself. He's, then, uh, he's right. looking pretty uh, desiccated from all the life draining. I'm then... going to try a frostbite on... Um, this guy in front of me. Alright. So that is a con save. Uh, 13 yeah. would fail, so he takes 3 points of cold damage. Oh, resistant to those as well. They are Apparently to he is resistant to all the elements. So he takes 3. And has disadvantage on his next attack. Oh, well that's useful. Uh, Elric. All right. Uh, again, bonus action. I shout the abyssal uh, angrily. Uh, keep hitting him, and then I go to Quaze. It gives uh, you a stank eye. Or... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then I, I hit him with two eldritch blasts, and I use what is it? Uh, emboldening bond. Yes, right, so you have. Well, you have to say which one you're using it for. I'm going to use it on the second one. Okay. Uh, so twelve would miss, unfortunately, but seventeen uh, or eighteen hits. Should have used it on the first one. Should have. I. Uh, so eleven. That's not bad. 
Uh, you blast him for 11, which puts him near death. Ah. And then I, yeah, I just yell, finish him, closet. All right, Tiny. What are you going to do? All right. There's still two of them up, right? Yeah, there's one here and one over here. The one to the north looks much more wounded. Okay. Um... Uh, he's gonna uh, he'll hit the one to the north with um sacred flame. All right, so you hurl a sacred fire at him. Uh, he will do his wisdom save. Uh, oh, but fourteen. Or oh, wait, oh, I rolled the wrong thing. You're right, Dex. Uh, Dex save. Uh, fourteen as well. So unfortunately, <laughs> so he would. Yeah. <laughs> He would just make it oh, well. dodging the sacred fire. Uh, anything else? Um, yep. Um, I heal myself a little bit more without healing word. Alright, so. No, I can't do that because it's just like a snug. Okay. Uh, no, you can because it was a cantrip, so yeah, you can. Cantrip. Uh, so you channel some more energy through you, gaining five. Uh, Barrett. Uh, hello. <laughs> how, what is the, um, what is the, how do you pick up an item off the ground? That is an item interaction. Oh, okay. Cool, that's easy. There's a pick <laughs> up this flame tongue dagger real quick. Yeah. And then slash at this guy uh, with um, bonus action uh, yeah steady aim just for fun funsies you know okay so you have advantage on the attack with your flame tongue that's for funsies so uh, that Uh are you going to use your bond yeah of course technically you should have said it before but sure go (laughs) ahead roll (laughs) I'll allow it. Uh, 12 becomes a 14 with flank. That would hit. <laughs> so that is... <laughs> wow, that's some terrible rolling. Uh, 16, 17, and 1 at 18. But that did actually hit pretty hard, and the creature is now wounded. Oh. <sighs> Actually, it's badly wounded. It was uh, pretty close to half. Anything else? That'll be all. Uh, the closet will yell again, clawing once more at the wounded. Uh... Oh yeah, 17 will claw for 7 as the uh, Wraith gets ready to counterattack. Uh, War Banner. War Banner is going to swoop down to this one instead this time. Distract the one. Wait, didn't you just tell your skeleton to shoot that one instead? I told him to shoot at the one that's not distracted. Oh, alright, fair enough. Uh, Alright, so that one's distracted. The skeleton goes, uh, okay, boss, and he's going to fire at the other one. Pew! Uh, no, that would just miss. Uh,. Or wait, no, the skeleton doesn't go yet. Sorry, I got that mixed up. Uh, the wraith here... Hmm. Yeah, he's probably going to go for Barrett because Barrett is hitting him a lot more. Ah, 15. Like four of me. Yeah. Does but... not hit. Alright, so you just managed to dodge that one ending his turn. Uh, the skeleton would fire and miss. Locoon. Alright, Lokun will send a mind sliver over to the one uh, in front of Oscar. Okay. Uh, in save. Uh, 13 would right. fail. So he takes okay. four psychic and is very wounded, but still up. Oh my god. Yeah, um, that is my turn. So the Wraith yep. is going to fly down at Lokoon, uh, giving you two oppies if you want them. 
I do. Uh, Closet. It's Oppy. Uh, 13 would strike. Six. Six. And I am going to try Frostbite again. All right, because you have more caster. Yeah, yeah. Can I do that, or does it need to be an attack? Uh, if you have Warcaster, you can use any spell as a reaction. Cool. Then that is what I will do. All right. Con he gets save. A minus four to his con save. Oh well, he rolls a zero, and the cold would freeze his essence. Uh, new round, Oscar. I'm gonna scoot over five feet. And yeah. uh, Frostbite has seemed to be treating me well, so I'll throw that on uh, that guy down there. All right. He is attacked with Frost, making oh, a con save. Uh, nope, he nope. would resist it. All right. And uh, that'll be my turn. Elric. Do I have a clear shot? Uh, no. He has heavy cover from the pillar. Okay. Uh, yeah. Plus so four right, is AC. I'll move right here. And do I have a clear shot now? Uh, yes. Now he has light cover from the pillar. Well, uh, I guess I move up another five foot. And how about now? He would still have light cover. Hmm. If your line of sight crosses over any of the objects, that's covered. Yeah, so basically his uh, his corner of his square here, you cannot hit with from any of your oh. corners. All right, well, then I retcon that. I just stay right here and uh, cast uh, two Eldritch Blasts at him. All right, first one is advantage. It's Okay, and, uh, so then I, I use the bond for the second one. Okay, that's probably a good split then. Uh, yep, yeah, both would strike. No, right. Oof, 13 right. and 7, 20. Ow, he is ragged but barely alive. And then I tell the closet to uh, kill him. Get him, boys. Uh, all right, Tiny. Tiny's going in for the kill. Do it. That's my boy, Blue. All right, yeah. <laughs> uh, are you muted, Tiny? I can't hear you if you're talking. Uh, no, I didn't say anything. Oh, um, all right. Uh, yeah. So Tiny rushes in. Uh, 18 would strike as he brings the hammer down, uh, finishing this them? guy off. Oh, nice. of all right, the group is safe. What do you all want to do? Barrett would look at Tiny and say, Ah, now you're a real siege breaker that you've almost died and are exhausted. Uh, yeah, I think the almost dying is like a prereq... I can't... Requerit? I can't even say. I can't speak. Requisite. Yeah, coming back from the brink of death is definitely a prerequisite. Yes. All right, time to get the... And I immediately just started. Critical, ma crit critical magnet. I hope <laughs> don't keep up. Uh, I stopped for a moment and realized. Hold on, Quasip. I am terribly sorry. I I never got your name. I say this in abyssal. Uh, never... he says, "Nice try. I'm not giving you my real name. Uh, oh. but I. You can call me. Uh, you can call me. <laughs> uh." Bernie. Bernie. Bernie okay. Sanders. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. So, <laughs> are we going uh, to... <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, well, Bernie, it's uh, it's nice to have you. Although, maybe if we work together long enough, you may want to give me the real name. Who knows? I'm, I'm very um, worthy. He says, real names have power. They do. As you have mine now, you should give me yours one day. And then I uh, continue walking. All right. Uh, so, yeah, Tiny is pretty beat up. Are you going into the halls where they came from? Can we uh, collect this wraith, wraith essence? 
Uh, oh. You can. That is a religion check. Mm-hmm. To gather the essence of the wraith. Or uh, alchemy. Your choice. Alright, so you would gather 110 gold pieces of wraith essence. Mm-hmm. Who's keeping that? Uh, I, I got a vial over here full of something oh, yeah. before, so... I'll just toss it in there, and we can split it up later. You want a quick snort? Uh, uh, no, don't, don't worry. I already have. Some are you breath. mixing it with something else, or is it just wraith essence? It's just wraith essence. Okay. Uh, so you add it to the vial. Yep. And you're recording that in your sheet, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, so yeah, are you heading in? Are you resting? What does the group want to do? Tiny's looking a little bit worse for wear with all the energy drain. Maybe, uh, Oscar, can you scout ahead, uh, or me and you can scout ahead and see if, uh... There's danger? Yeah, oh, you know, season. When, when you say that, Baron, I say, I can always send Bernie over here. He has invisibility. That is uh, true. Yeah? Do we want to scout ahead? Do we want to rest? Locoon, Tiny, what are you thinking? You look a little beat up and like you could use some uh, healing patchwork. Tiny. Yeah, I'm, he's, he, he, he's not moving too much. Tiny, you want to rest? I'm going to pick up his uh, shield for sure. I don't think he's saying much, guys. Yeah, uh, Tiny. Me? Yeah, yeah, we can too. hear you. But uh, do you need a rest? Um. Oh, we can go forward. Cool. It's just a scratch. <laughs> just That's my boy blue. In the back. That's With my me. boy blue. That's just a flesh <laughs> wound. Uh, all right, go ahead. Uh, mark yourself with the torch again, Baird. Uh, all right, so you're heading into the tunnel. Yes, I lead the way. All right. Unscratched and unharmed. Oh, before I do that, I uh, since we're not taking a short rest. I use uh, Rod of the Pack Keeper to give myself an extra. Oh, here, let me link it. Uh, I mean, is um, who else got hit? I don't think anyone else got hit by me, did they? Yeah, one, one, one person. Did. Baird got hit, but he oh, was yeah. able to minimize the damage quite effectively. Yeah, yeah Baird. He's uncanny over there, dodging things. Yeah, it was uncanny. Uh, all right, so you're entering a new area. I also uh, pull out my sword. Uh, you make your way down the tunnel. Uh, it is dark in here, but luckily Barrett uh, kind of lights the way a little. Uh, you'll be coming in over here. One, two, three, four. Uh, I well, you don't have to have your skeleton out. I guess you can if you want. You can just say he's in the background. Uh, so yeah, there is a hallway leading to a large door with several runes carved into it. Looks like a big uh, set of double stone doors. They look very heavy. Can we get a, uh, oh, never mind. I'm a dork. I confidently keep strutting forward. All right. Uh, Elric, hang on a sec. Oh, all right. uh, give me a, oh, oh, no. Athletics check as you suddenly fall oh. into a hole you did oh. not see. What the? I use, All right, why are you always falling in holes? I use my inspiration for this. Okay. You attempt to desperately grab the edge as you go, wah! You said, you said dexterity, so... Uh, no, it's a uh, athletics check to try to oh, climb. Yeah. All right. Oh, God. All right, oh, so... You got a six. Does anyone have anything they can do as a reaction? Uh... Only I was wearing a ring of feather falling. 
<laughs> the reaction, I counter spell. No, I'm just kidding. I don't counter spell. Really, I, mean, uh, I try to grab him. Uh, no, unfortunately, there's no real grabbing. Uh, so Has you're like, you what the? Our last battle. Bernie, there... help! <laughs> Bernie. Uh, mm, does that affect skill checks? I don't think so. Saving throws? Uh, so you nice. go plunging down the hole. Uh, uh, and oof, you fall 120 feet, slamming oh. into a floor, taking 38 uh, bludgeoning. Uh, 30? 38? Yes, 38 bludgeoning damage as you smack into a cave floor. Uh, you see a bunch of bones down here. Or no, never mind. There wouldn't be bones. You see a bunch of spider webs down here. Oh, that's not Oh, good. no. Uh, and you hear chittering coming from the caves around you. Oh. What do you want to do? Rope. Rope. Um. Oh, my gosh. All right. So... <laughs> How much rope do we all have? I, I have a, I have a whole thing. Um, I got fifty feet. I have fifty feet. So we have hundred and fifty feet. I have, I have fifty feet of rope as well. I don't know if anyone. You're can at the bottom of the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad for your hundred and fifty feet. Who knows? Uh, so yeah, what are you gonna do? There's chittering coming from the caves around you. Oh. Can I would, I, uh... Start, can game. I come check? I can make the... Can spiders see in the dark? Uh, usually they can. Because they don't have oh. torches. Okay, uh... Hmm. Can I hold fire firebolt up as a light in my hand? Uh, unfortunately... Fortunately, I don't think you can. Can't you see in the dark? I can, but like, didn't it give me disadvantage on, on like attacks or is that? No, just perception checks. Okay. Uh, okay. So you're kind of looking around trying to figure out what to do. Uh, what are you all doing up top? Uh, can anyone I see 120 there. feet? I am no. running over here. No. All right. So yeah, you kind of hear ah, and he falls into the darkness, and there's like a smack down below. Um, well, I would. So he would hear the chittering and immediately climb, uh, say, "Uh, there's spiders." Hell <laughs> Why would you? Oh, uh, they definitely know you're there. Never mind. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I would tell the party, I'm like, we gotta tie some rope together. Um. Yeah. And then I'll. I'll hand my rope over to, to Oscar and uh, look to them to, to do that. And then I'll send my um, familiar down there. Okay. Uh, do you have 100 uh, plus feet of rope? I have 50 feet. I think I Luca. So really so, I assume you have 50 feet. I have 150 drink, total. I drink a health potion. All right. So they're tying ropes together up top. Uh, Can meanwhile, I jump in. Yes. You just gonna so, jump down? Uh, I have the ring of feather fall. Oh, nice! Oh. <laughs> All right, oh, so Oscar is like, I got this, uh, and just swan dives into the hole. Yell down to Elric, you okay? But before I jump down, I'm gonna hand the rope to uh, Baird and Tiny. Oh, uh, yeah, and Lo Locoon, because. All right, so Baird it's. Can't hold this rope. It's going to take you all a round or two to get the rope tied. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to drink a health potion. Um, how much do I get back for those? Is it 2d6 or 1? Uh, it or... is 2d4 plus 2. Oh, okay. Are we going to roll initiative for this? Uh, possibly in a moment. So, Elric, you hear something coming from several different directions now. Nine. So I get 9 health back. Okay, um... What are you gonna do? I I frantically hurry, hurry now, need it now, All and right. that's what I say. Uh, you would see several spiders come into view, chittering. Can I see? Can I see like 
like do I hear them yet? Uh, there are five of them total. Okay. If I can see them, they're gonna get a fireball to the face. Well, That's all I'm saying. We need initiative. Uh, I have to theater of the mind this somewhat because I don't I don't have the map down there. Um, but yeah, give me initiative. You guys are up top. Finishing tying the ropes on as Oscar's about to swan dive in, I assume. Horrible initiative. Right. But, but think about this, guys. Instead of bringing him up, we could tie the rope up here and all slide down and attack the spiders and see if there's treasure down there. Uh, Why would there be treasure down there? I don't think there's treasure <laughs> down there. And Just think there's think treasure I'll everywhere. I think Oscar's going to try to calm them down. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, so the first to act uh, is going to be Lokoon, who's finished tying his ropes. Uh, any actions you want to take? Um, I'll just brace the rope um, strongly against myself. But I tie it against myself and 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 tiny as well. I'll be like, let's. Uh, these guys up when they when we feel tug on the other end. All right, so hearing the chittering, uh, Barrett, what are you doing? Barrett would as well just be weight. He probably can't do a lot of pulling, but he. <laughs> All right, you brace yourself, Oscar. Thievery. Um, so I'm falling already. All right, so for your turn, you jump in. Yeah, do I hear spiders? You do. You hear lots of chittering. I think you only fall 60 feet per turn. I do. <laughs> uh, but could I use my Excuse me. action to use my speech of the woods and do some sort of animal handling check to uh, try to calm these spiders down? While you're falling? Yes. So you're going to yeah. kind of be yelling... Spider, spider words. Yeah. Uh, sure, give me animal handling. We're going to give you disadvantage because you're not there yet. Cool. Chitter, chitter, chitter. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to use an inspiration to make it a wash. Oh, there you go. You make an inspired plea to the spiders. Leave my friend alone. We are friends. Not uh, can you understand them as well? May link it. Uh, I don't think. Oops, that's uh, the wrong one. Sorry. There it is. Uh, oh, yeah, converse. Okay. So they say, uh, we are hungry. Food, food, give us food. Uh, as they chitter wildly, uh, moving threateningly at Elric. Uh, the next one, Spider, comes up at you, like, doing its mandibles threateningly. Uh, it does not attack yet, though. Uh, it almost sounds like it's trying to say something, but you have no idea what it's saying, obviously. Uh, same with the other spiders. They're right up near you, like, kind of lunging and backing off threateningly. Uh, War Banner. Warbanner is just flying uh, um, the furthest. Well, actually, he can dash down there. But he'll just fly to 100 feet, so he stays within telepathic range of me. Um, All right. Waiting. This giant spider is going to attack you. It wants blood. Mm hmm. Uh, luckily, it misses as you jump back. Uh, Elric. Uh, yeah, so I'm being attacked, but I don't know what's going on. And are all the spiders, like, in the same area within... within uh, they are kind of surrounding you. So they're oh. on all sides of you. Hmm, that is great. Though, like I said, several of them did not attack you. Just the how one close? did. Like, how close are they to me? Uh, they're right next to you. So they're adjacent. Yeah. Mm. And Locoon's uh, and Oscar's not down here yet. Uh, you would probably see him falling towards you because he's within sixty feet of you. Right. Well, it's time for. Uh, 
what I would call big D energy. So, <laughs> right. uh, fire on my <laughs> on my location to try to kill all the spiders. Oh my uh, God. So, do you have a way of avoiding hitting yourself as well? I mean, or are you just or, gonna wait, blow I, yourself up? I yeah, I was about to blow myself up. <laughs> uh, so I love so, that. Can I, can I take movement, move out of the spiders, and then blow up the spiders? You would get five oppies on you. Well, assuming they attacked you. Five oppies versus blowing myself up. Hmm. This is a tough call. This is a tough call. Let me check my health real quick. Okay. I I can survive it regardless. Um, Do it. How... Uh, <laughs> This is a tough one. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that with that uh, big D energy and uh, fireball the yourself. ground. Yourself. All right. So you chant summoning yeah. fire energy as you just blow yourself up. Uh, oh I need God. a deck save. Okay. All right. Uh, so deck save. Oh boy. Yes. All right, so you take 15 fire. All right. Uh, the spiders have to make deck saves. DC is 16. 30 damage. Uh, oh, pretty good rolls. Oh, it's 17. 17 is the DC. Uh, all right, well, two of them made it. So three of the spiders are torched. Um, right. My, the uh, one who attacked you made it, and another one who is now very angry made it. Both look very wounded, though. Uh, the spider on its turn, that one's dead. Uh, tiny. And y'all just see an explosion from up underneath. Yeah, Oscar, you see an <laughs> explosion of flame. I'm just... Uh... I'm just holding, ho helping hold the rope. Okay, and, you're uh, and you know, waiting for a tug or something. Yep, you're holding yeah, it steady. Uh, all right, top of the round, Locoon. You see Oscar continue to fall down into the darkness. Well, into the. Uh, I assume it's light, or at least the moment. Yeah, there, well, there was a flash for a moment. Yeah, and you hear a bunch of spiders screech. <laughs> I mean, look. Locoon is just trying to lower the rope down all the way, dropping the, the other end of the rope down to them so they can climb up. So okay. Yeah. Uh, Barrett, same thing? Yeah, also I figured Oscar would have the end of the rope, right? So. Yeah, so, oh, jumped in. so Oscar, oh, jumped in with the rope. you float down to the bottom. Uh, you land kind of on a charred spider. Looks like there are two very wounded spiders still there that do not look happy. Uh, I'm going to, uh, turn to Elric and, uh, say, why would you do that? They were just hungry. We have food for them, but now, uh, I, I guess, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, I'll, uh, ready and, or, I'll try again. Uh, I'll pull out some food rations. Would, would spiders eat rations? Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, they are cool. dried up meat. They'd rather have blood, but it's better than nothing. Uh, so... No, I'll do... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, anything else? I was just gonna try to talk to the spiders again and say, here's food. Leave us in, leave us be and we'll be out of here. Alright, so the spiders are in retreat at this point. They look badly wounded and they're skittering back into the tunnels. Cool. Skitter, skitter, skitter. Uh, all right, so they run away because they have no wish to get blown up again. Uh, and then as, yeah, as they're doing that, I say, run! Run away! <laughs> yeah, they, they definitely do. Uh, so, yeah, they retreat, uh, and, yeah, you appear to be safe, although a bit singed. What do you want to do? Mend my clothes and head back up. <laughs> all right, so you tie the ropes on, uh, pulling them back out uh, nice. and you are once again back up top well gentlemen let me just say 
that was a gamble. <laughs> and then and then I just I, I keep <laughs> I don't say anything. I was all else. scorched. <laughs> yeah, I don't say anything else. He does How much look... of your hair burned? Uh, oh no, and I look. Oh, I, I see digit. some like I see like some thin bits of my hair. Uh, Bernie Sanders uh, laughs at you. <laughs> Make me banish you. You can go straight back. I was gonna do a Bernie Sanders impression, but I decided not to. Uh, it just <laughs> continues laughing at you. Interesting. It says, uh, well, at least you're alive, Master. Yes. And so are you. <laughs> oh, Lordy. So are you, Bernie Sanders. Uh, all right, so what do you want to do? Uh, we are actually at 8.30. Uh, do we want to pause here and uh, do the door next time? Sounds uh, good to me. Okay. Great. Can we end here? with like uh, starting maybe a short rest I don't know who else may need cool. it but uh, uh, I'm probably going to forget so why don't we just do the short rest next time alright yeah. because I still have to roll for it and everything like should we even short rest like we're all, all right. some people are really beat up but just we can't wait. just leave the door right yeah uh, I what, someone... uh, what, what time of the day is it by the way at this point at least five thirty. Uh, did you say what time is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is probably about seven thirty. Oh wow! Because remember, you took some hours to dig through. Yeah. Right. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll figure it out next next time. We're just trying to figure out when we need to head back. All right. Yep. Good job, everyone. Tiny, sorry the uh, dice were bullying you again. Jeez. Yeah, for real. There's like five crits that have happened on you now. If it, if it happens again, there's got to be some quirk somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just there's angered the roll 20. Like both rolls, yeah. yeah. It's like both rolls were exactly the same. Yeah. 26, 21. 26, 21. Yeah. You've angered some, like, programmer somewhere. <laughs> it's like sending the, oh, the crits no. at you. Uh, but yeah, let's do MVP votes. Alright, I got three votes for... Oh, you just typed it in? Right. Uh, yeah, it's a slash W space DM space the uh, name of who you're voting for. Is the command. And I'll uh, I'll look into oh. a or yeah go ahead. I yeah it's been really nice here for some reason. Uh, so it is. So it looks like this. Uh, be forever to without do. the slack or without the parentheses. Okay. But yeah, I'll continue to uh, look for a Saturday. Saturday evening shouldn't be too hard to fill. Uh, it's just finding a good person that is the, you know, someone who's going to stick around. And uh, All right, so with three votes, Elric, you are MVP. Congrats. I knew that y'all loved me just blowing up almost five <laughs> I Knew it. Elric, Oscar Elric, did not Elric. like that. Bold <laughs> strategy. Oh, oh man. I uh, Thank you. I was playing a noble one. Uh, oh wait, 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 wait! You're cutting out, Barrett. Yeah, you're cutting out again. I was playing a noble once, and uh, he was a sorcerer, and some guy insulted him, and he blew both of them up just in the <laughs> middle of the street. So he pulled an El uh, Elric. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty great. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And that closet yeah. is nasty. Is especially yeah. with the, um, 
extra invocation. Those attacks were not tiny. Like, they're uh, decent. Poison? Yeah, that's, I mean, it, like, if it's fighting, like, a regular humanoid that doesn't have, you know, poison resistance, yeah, those are some deadly attacks. And the, the neat thing is, so, like, when he does scare, he goes off of, um, for my invocation, he actually goes off of my save. So, he would go off of a spell save, I want to say, 17 on scare. So that's also, you know, pretty helpful. But, uh, alright, good game, everybody. Yeah, fun time. Yeah, yeah good games. job, everyone. Sorry, uh, Sorry bullied, Tiny. <laughs> Yeah, well, it can't keep being crits. If there's like three crits next week, we know Tiny is like into some witchcraft or something. Yeah. It's like some serious death karma going on. Yeah. Alright. Well, I'll take that. You know, have to just change characters. That's it. You know? Yeah, it's like, well, Tiny was not meant to live. It's time for his all his brother, uh, I don't know, whatever his brother's well, name would Minnie. be. <laughs> Minnie. Mini Forgeborn. What All happened right. to my brother? He got crit again, just like when we were kids. <laughs> All right, night, everybody. Peace. Is anyone still on Twitch? Looks like two people. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good evening. We'll see you next time. <laughs>